come away as you see the Cowboys taking the field led by head coach Jim Stanley, Oklahoma State. In their old white jerseys, the burnt orange pants, burnt orange helmets, OSU on the side. The Cowboys come in here with a three and two record. Hello again, everyone. I'm Chris Lincoln. Along with me today is Jim Cook, the play-by-play -play in color of what should be a great football game this afternoon. The Oklahoma Sooners, you see, masked in the runway down below, getting ready to come out, led by head coach Barry Switzer. Oklahoma won the toss of the coin. The Sooners have elected to receive, as you see them coming down the runway right now. A rainy day in Norman for homecoming, 1976. And uh, Jim Cook, this has been a great series rivalry between the two as the Sooners take the field, led by head coach Barry Switzer. Oklahoma, unbeaten, five victories, no losses, one tie. Jim, let's talk about uh, this series rivalry. It's been a great one. Well, Chris, uh, it's been dominated by OU. Oklahoma leads the series 53-11 and 6. But, you know, you can compare this a lot to the OU-Texas series. Now, Texas dominates that series in the overall standings. But starting back in 1971, OU came on strong. They've dominated the series since then. OSU feels that this year possibly they could pull that trick. Uh, they threw 10 yards a game for OU, 333 yards per game. It has been raining. The field is slick. So I think it's going to be a game of defense today, Chris. And you have to talk about injuries. Both teams have been hit hard as you look at the Oklahoma State sidelines. Uh, they had one uh, just added to their list late this week. Clifton Sullivan, their fine cornerback, twisted a knee and a goal line's work, uh, no contact at all, and he's out for the season, had surgery the other day. There's some more injury problems, uh, Jim, especially for the Sooners. The Sooners uh, have a much worse uh, injury problem type thing than the Cowboys do, but we do have a... Uh, uh, kind of a surprise announcement. They will be starting probably Scotty Hill in the defensive backfield. I believe uh, Bobby Proctor was telling you that before the game, right. Chris. And that's, a, that's a story in itself. They thought he'd have surgery. He said no. And, of course, Jerry Anderson's been operated on, the All-American cornerback. He's out for the season. And, of course, Cowboy fans know they lost their great uh, running back, Robert Turner. Skip Taylor, Terry Miller will be deep. Oklahoma State will be receiving the kickoff as... Uh, Two teams uh, switch it around. Uvon Shawman will be kicking off for the Oklahoma Sooners in the 71st series. The Bedlam series between Oklahoma and Oklahoma State is about ready to get underway. The rain has stopped here after raining most of the morning today in Norman. Field uh, under pretty wet conditions. The players came out early and tried a lot of different shoes. About ready to go as Von Shawman kicks off. Waiting for it. Terry Miller's going to let it go by into the end zone. Touchback, and the Cowboys will start first and 10 from its own 20-yard line. Chris, speaking of Terry Miller, we want to watch him very closely this afternoon. He needs only 35 yards to catch Brent Blackman at the all-time rushing list for OSU. Uh, he now ranks uh, number sixth. He'll be trying for number five. With any luck at all, he should be number five sometime today. By the backfield for Oklahoma State, a surprise. The starting quarterback will be Harold Bailey, the freshman from Houston, Texas. Terry Miller in the backfield with him. He is the back to the right. There's a good look at Harold Bailey starting. Also in there will be Skip Taylor. First and 10 Cowboys from the 20. The handoff goes to Skip Taylor, and Taylor goes to about the 23 or 4-yard line for about 4. So a surprise right off the bat as the starting quarterback is a freshman, Harold Bailey. Obi Moore, 57. Reggie Kinlaw, 62. Make the tackle. Sam Lyle going into the football game. Ricky Taylor comes out, split in for the Cowboys. Just underway here in Norman, Oklahoma. Cowboys at the opening kickoff. Picked up four on the first play to second down six. Scott Hill is in the football game, number seven for OU. Bailey, the quarterback. And off again goes to Taylor. Taylor goes across the 25 to the 27-yard line. Skip Taylor, number 28, carrying the football again for about three yards. It'll be a third down, short yardage situation. You look at Skip Taylor come back to the huddle. Obi Moore again makes the tackle. Mike Phillips. Obi Moore has certainly had a big couple of weeks, Jim. Certainly has, Chris. In the last two weeks, he's recovered five fumbles. That's a good uh, total sometime for a season. He, was, of course, was the uh, Sports Illustrated uh, Lineman of the Week last week. Scott Hill has come out of the football game. Mike Burke's in in the defensive position. Third down, two for the Cowboys. They must reach the 30. Make the handoff. Pitch goes wide. Outside it comes to Miller. Miller first down, 35, 40, 45, midfield, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cowboys, as Terry Miller shocks Oklahoma with a 72-yard touchdown run. Look at the Cowboys in the end zone as they jump on Terry Miller. There he is, number 43. We'll see it again on replay. Bailey is going to fake to the halfback. Taylor makes the wide pitch to Terry Miller. And Jim, 
Here he goes. Well, you'll after see, one uh, move. Chris, you'll see Jerry Reese, the only man there, at a real good shot at him. Picked up a good block there, and that's just Strictly Miller uh, right there. That's just pure speed, and he outran the whole field into the end zone. So Miller off to a good start. 72-yard run, and the Cowboys are on the scoreboard quickly. It'll be Abby Daigle trying for the extra point. Ken Shirley will be holding. Down. Daigle kicks it up. It's good. And Oklahoma State, with 13 minutes and 42 seconds left in the first quarter, has struck quickly on the Terry Miller 72-yard touchdown run. The score, Oklahoma State 7, Oklahoma nothing. as they scored on the third play of the ball game. It'll be Nixon number 11 over number nine deep for Oklahoma. Ready to kick off, Abby Daigle. Daigle approaches the football as Oklahoma State leads here seven to nothing. It is over at the six. Lee number nine to the 15, 20, and down there. Tackle on the play, number 45, John Corker for Oklahoma State. And uh, let's get a quick recap of the scoring drive, Jim Cook. Very impressive drive. Only three plays, Chris, 80 yards. Terry Miller going in from 72 yards out. He is now the number five man on the all-time OSU rushing charts. He caught Brent Blackman with his first time uh, with the ball this afternoon. So here come the Sooners. Thomas Lott, number six, the quarterback. Number four, Elvis Peacock. 30, Kenny King. Also in the backfield is Jimmy Rogers, 34. Snap of the football. And off goes to Elvis Peacock. Football is loose, and Oklahoma State is on it. The Cowboys have recovered inside the Sooner 25. John Corker, the freshman linebacker, number 45, you saw there, was on the football. They'll see it again on replay. Thomas Lott, number six. The Oklahoma quarterback fumbles it coming out of center. Now fakes to Kenny King, the fullback. Hands to Elvis Peacock. Wrapped up right there. There you see the ball pop loose. Number 45, John Corker, scrambling for the football. Richard Allen put the hit on him, and so now it is Oklahoma State with the football, first and 10 at the Sooner 23. They had the quarterback, number eight, as to Skip Taylor. Taylor tripped up right at the line of scrimmage, falls forward, maybe to the 20-yard line. Skip Taylor, 28. Terry Miller, 43. Harold Bailey, number eight, the Cowboy backfield. O.B. Moore, 57, the linebacker on the tackle. There's a shot of the Cowboy bench. Coach Jim Stanley, hands on his hips there. On the headset, there you see Harold Bailey, the freshman quarterback, a surprise starter today. Taylor to the near side, Lyle to the far side as the Cowboys come out in the Veer offense. Second and eight from the 21. Bailey takes the snap, hands to Miller. Miller goes inside the 20-yard line, hit right there. Phil Tabor, 74, was one. Also 85, Daryl Hunt, the linebacker, getting up. There's the Sooner bench. Barry Switzer, of course, in the headset, talking to Thomas Lott, his quarterback, right in the middle of the screen. And Brady Victor Hicks also on the sidelines. Look at the Sooner defense, and they have been awfully tough this season so far, Jim. Yeah, they sure have, Chris. So let me tell you, we were all, we'll were talk about the defense in just a moment. They're breaking the huddle again. Okay, Lyle goes to the top of the screen, Bain to the bottom of the screen. Bailey on a third down five. They have to get the 13 for the first down. Bailey keeps it, cuts up inside, gets close to the first down. He'll be close to the first down. Chris was talking about the OU defense this year. You know, at the first of the year, everyone was crying and bemoaning the fact that we've lost Elrod, we've lost the Selmans. At this time last year, the Sooner defense had given up nine touchdowns. So far this year, this defense has only given up five touchdowns. They're second in the Big Eight, uh, about nine yards uh, scoring. Uh, uh, nine, <laughs> nine points per game. So uh, they're a tough defense. It's first down, though, Cowboys, as they bought the chains out, stretched them, and it is first and ten for Oklahoma State. And I'll tell you, the Cowboys have been impressive on offense so far. 7-0, Oklahoma State leads here. Still early in the first quarter of this game. And an OU fumble on the Sooners' first offensive play, and the Cowboys on the drive again. First and 10 from Oklahoma's 13. Taylor to the far side, Lyle to the near side. In zone shot, as you see Harold Bailey optioning down the line, keeping it, and going to be caught in the backfield. Michael Phillips, 89, breaks through for the tackle. Loss on the play. Back to the 15-yard line. 
He'll lose two to three on the play. 11.50 left to play in the first quarter. There you see Michael Phillips, number 89. 6'1", 205-pound senior out of Galveston, Texas. Two-year letterman for OU. It is second down, 13. The loss is three. Back near the 16-yard line. Call the ball closer to the 15. Good luck at Harold Bailey, number eight, Cowboy quarterback. Again, there it is to Miller. Stumbles as he goes up the center of the line. Picks up maybe two or three on the play. It'll be third down, long yardage for the Cowboys. He's talking about him running up the middle of the line there, Chris. A good uh, matchup this afternoon would be the Oklahoma nose guard, Reggie Kinlaw, uh, 230 pounds, and Darrell Goforth, 253 pounds, a fine center. Goforth is a very versatile athlete. In his career at uh, OSU, he's played guard, tackle, and center, and all three very well. Quick look at the Oklahoma State sideline as Harold Bailey comes up on third and nine from the 12. They need the three for the first down. Bailey hands up the middle to Skip Taylor as they look like they're playing for field goal here as he goes straight up the middle and here comes the field goal team. Richard Murray 76, Obi Moore 57. Getting up off the bottom of the pile there's Darrell Hunt 85. And finally Skip Taylor climbs out of there. And the Cowboys didn't want to take a chance at missing a scoring opportunity as Taylor took it just inside the 10 at the 9. It is fourth down six and Abby Daigle will come in. Holding for him will be Kent Shirley. They'll spot the football right at the 15-yard line, so this is a chip shot for Abby Daigle. 25 yards out, Daigle waits. The kick by Daigle, it's good. And Oklahoma State has struck quickly here on Oklahoma with 10 minutes and 20 seconds left in the first quarter. The score, Oklahoma State 10, Oklahoma nothing. zone shot as you see Abby Daigle now approaching the football and kicks off the second time today. Short kick and taken at the 15 yard line. 20, 25, the 30. Piled up right at the 30 yard line and dragged down there George Cumby. Number 28 was the short man who caught it on the fly. Dale Miller, 33, down to make the tackle for Oklahoma State. So the Sooners trailing 20, 10 to nothing. As you see 28, George Cumby heading off the field along with Jim Culberth, 41. We'll come back on offense. They had the ball for only one offensive play. A fumble by Elvis Peacock, and the Cowboys got a field goal out of it after scoring on a 72-yard Terry Miller run on the third play of the game. Lott, the quarterback, number six, snap of the football. Lott makes the pitch out to number four, Elvis Peacock. 30, 35, Elvis to the 37 or 8-yard line. Richard Allen, the nose guard. Makes the tackle on the play, seven-yard gain for Peacock. You look at him there, number four. That was the junior from Miami, Florida. Chris, that last scoring play for OSU, 23 yards and seven plays, of course, for the Abbey Dago field goal. 10 to nothing to score in the first quarter, 9.46 left to play. Jim Culberth, 41, is now in a fullback for Kenny King. You look at Thomas Lott, number six. Culberth gets the handoff, and uh, Jim looks like he may have the first first down for OU this afternoon. Philip Dokes, number 91, standing up over him there. Also, uh, again, Richard Allen, 89. 45, John Corker gets up. They're going to bring the sticks out here to take a closer look at this one. Kenny King, uh, number 30, is now back in at fullback as Jim Culberth leaves. They'll stretch it out here, and it is. First down, Oklahoma. 9.37 to play here in the first quarter. Oklahoma State 10, Oklahoma nothing. The Sooners with the football, first and 10, their own 40-yard line. Thomas Lott, number 6, the quarterback. Snap, keeps it himself, lock 45, lock 50, first down, Oklahoma, inside the 50-yard line of the Cowboy. 
46, and that's the first time OU has been in Oklahoma State territory this afternoon, a 15-yard gain on the plane. For Thomas Lott, we'll see it on replay. Okay, here you'll see Lott just take the snap from center and cut upside uh, up through the middle like with his good speed. Picked up a very good game there. Thomas Lott is really coming to life these last two ball games, getting a lot of confidence, making some good moves. Peter Capola, number 21, made the tackle for Oklahoma State. Lott hands to Culberth, 41, and Jimmy gets short yardage uh, near the Oklahoma State 41-yard line. Richard Allen, 89. The nose guard slants down to make the tackle. On the end zone camera, looking at the uh, Oklahoma offensive huddle across the way, the OSU defensive huddle. The Cowboys lead here 10 nothing, 847 to play in the first quarter. Lot number six, King 30, Peacock number four. Handoff goes instead to Johnny Jimmy Rogers, number 34. Rogers dives up near the 40-yard line for short gain on the plane. It'll be third down and long for Oklahoma. Daria Butler, 59. Philip Dokes, 91 in the tackles. Shot at the OU sideline. Barry Switzer, his arms folded. Looking at the scoreboard, 10-0. Oklahoma trails. Victor Hicks, number 80, you saw, is in a tight end now. Lott, the quarterback, third down and five. Oklahoma must reach the 35 for the first down as Lott keeps, makes the pitch, but outside of Rodgers, he's in big trouble. Thrown for a loss on the play, and Oklahoma will be faced with fourth down long yardage. Fine defensive play. Down Weimer, 57, made the tackle. We'll see it on replay, Jim. Okay, you'll see some excellent pursuit here by the OSU Cowboys. The tackle, uh, the blocking just never materialized for Mr. Rogers, and of course, he didn't have a chance. He got to the outside, but that's all he went. He went sideways and not up and down. You got to go north and south to score with the thing, and Rogers didn't have a chance. Very good pursuit there by the Cowboy defensive unit. And you see Weimer, 57, on top of him. A loss on the play of three yards, fourth down and eight. Mickey Hatcher in to do the punting, and he's just trying to head one for the corner to get one out of bounds. It bounces, and it does. A beautiful kick. Chris, I Rolls think out on the one. I think he went out of bounds right there on the one, and that was a beautiful, perfect coffin corner kick. 42-yard kick there for the Sooners. Perfect kick. Well, it was supposed to be, of course, uh, a dominant game for Oklahoma State as far as the kicking game goes. You know they have that super punter, Cliff Parsi, great field goal kicker, Abby Daigle, but Oklahoma shows the first strength as far as the kicking game goes with a fine punt by Mickey Hatcher. You know who one of the best Sooners ever was at uh, kicking the coffin corner kicks? Go ahead, guess. I give up who? Daryl Royal. Oh, I don't Did it consistently. Probably spied on us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, Harold Bailey in his own end zone. Oklahoma State from the one-yard line. Bailey's just going to keep it himself and go up a couple yards as he follows some of the blocking in front of him there. There you see a big pile up. Richard Murray, 76. One of the last ones to get up there for OU. By the way, you might notice Scott Hill is back into the ball game. That's incredible. They thought they were going to told the guy it had to be operated on. He said, no, tape me up. I want to play. And I'll be doggone if he isn't out there. Great football player. So here come the Cowboys. It is now second down, eight. OSU from its own three-yard line. Bailey number eight, the quarterback. Hands to Skip Taylor, dives over about the four-yard line. Taylor, number 28, took the high dive there and uh, tripped up. Darrell Hunt, 85, was in on the play. It'll be Cliff Parsley on a third down. Coming in, looks like on a punting situation. Third down and six. OSU, of course, uh, Smart play. If something should go wrong, they'd like an extra down to play with here. As you see, Cliff Parsley, number two. And boy, you're looking at one of the finest punters in college football today. Cliff Parsley is sixth nationally with the 45.3 yard average kick. That's compared to OU's Mickey Hatch with 38.7. Parsley, right by the goal line. It's a low driving kick. Lee Hover at the 49 yard line. Hover hit immediately and down at the 46. Fine coverage there. By Oklahoma State's Skip Taylor, 28. It looked like for a moment there, Chris, he's going to get some open field running, but uh, the hole closed very quickly. OSU converging on uh, the OU runner bear very quickly there. 44-yard punt, three-yard return. Are they over? So Oklahoma with good field possession, trailing 10 to nothing. We'll start first and 10 at the Cowboy 46-yard line. Horace Ivory is in at halfback number 32. There you see Thomas Lott, number six. The Sooners sophomore quarterback. Hannock goes to Elvis Peacock and Peacock up the middle inside the Cowboy 45 before he is pushed back there by Philip Dokes, number 91. Also, you saw that Lorenzo Turner is 77. 
Another good matchup today. Carl Balderschweiler, number 67, junior offensive left tackle for OU. For most of the day, he'll be lined up against Philip Dokes, 91. So uh, I bet they're going to have some fun before the afternoon's over. Sun's starting to come out, brighten up a bit here at uh, OU's homecoming. Thomas Lott on a second down seven. OU from the Cowboy 43. Peacock goes in motion to the top of the screen. And off goes instead up the middle to Kenny King, who squirts through a big hole there and goes near the first down to see where they're going to mark him officially. He'll still be a couple yards shy. Now you get a good look at Kenny King, number 30, Clarendon, Texas. Hard running fullback, great quickness. Some of the crowd here at the uh, field will get a look at replay. You'll get to see it here again, uh, Chris. This was very good effort on the part of Kenny King getting through that line. He made that hole himself. They closed on him, and with that great leg power he has, he just uh, burst through there for about five more yards. So it is third down one, Oklahoma. The football at the uh, Cowboy 37-yard line. Victor Hicks, Reggie Mathis both in there. Double tight ends for Oklahoma. Sooners need one here on third down. Lott loses the football. Scramble forward in the middle. We'll have to wait and see. I believe OSU has it, Chris. Let's see. Well, the Cowboys say they do, but the officials got to decide it. Let's see if they dig in a pile here. Oklahoma. Seems an appropriate time to introduce you to the officials for the game this afternoon. The referee and the guy in the white hat down there is Bill Jennings. John Lineback is the umpire. Walter Hart, the linesman. Tom Eller is a line judge. Field judge is Bill Haffey. Back judge, Ed Shannon. He will see it on replay, Jim. Okay, let's see there. You see Lott just losing the ball again. Uh, mixed up uh, on the snap from center. Didn't connect just right. Timing off. And it sure looked for a second there like an OSU player got on the ball, but an OU player evidently scrambled around in that pileup and got it back. So now it is fourth down. One Oklahoma. They need to get to the 36 for the first down. Oh, more than that. Cobra, 30. Jimmy, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Blocked by Reggie Mathis, number 86, and Colbert. 41 goes into the end zone for the touchdown. We'll see it again on replay. Okay, if you can, watch this block by Mathis. Now, it's not a, a pretty block or anything, but he did just exactly what you have to do. He got in front of the man and slowed him up. Let's see if you can see it here. He runs over that man. Jimmy Colbert ran, running over Peter Coppola, the strong safety, and uh, Colbert. Goes for the touchdown. It was fourth and one Oklahoma. Colbert goes 37 yards, and the Sooners are back in the football game. Von Sherman will be in to attempt the extra point. Their kick is good. Five minutes, 11 seconds left to play in an explosive first quarter at Norman, Oklahoma. Our score, Oklahoma State 10, Oklahoma 7. Shaman kicks off for Oklahoma. Terry Miller, number 43, takes it, starts out, now takes a knee. Terry Miller is going to stay right there. Probably a pretty wise decision, too, on Terry's part. Oh, here's a super running back. Terry Miller went 72 yards the first time he touched the football this afternoon. The score for Oklahoma State. He'll be in the backfield along with Harold Bailey, number 8, the uh, freshman quarterback, Skip Taylor, 28, Terry Miller, number 43. Chris, that Oklahoma scoring drive, 46 yards, four plays. Jim Cubworth uh, going in from 37 yards out. We're seeing some big plays. We're just talking about this being a defensive battle. We've seen some uh, spectacular offensive plays today. It has been offense so far in the first quarter. You see Harold Bailey, number eight, the Cowboy cornerback. Taylor at the top, Miller at the bottom, ready for the handoff. Bailey keeps it himself, pitch to Miller. Miller, 25, knocked down at the 26-yard line. The fine defensive play on the corner for OU. Zach Henderson was over to uh, knock Miller out. Terry Miller, 43, you see coming back there. Jimmy's already moved up some of the uh, career Cowboy rushing stats. 
Sure has, Chris. He's already caught Blackman. We were saying uh, if uh, he has a good game, he'll catch Blackman and all that. He did it on his first carry, I think, of the afternoon. He only needed 35 yards. Well, he gets six on that play. Miller now has four carries, 83 yards so far. And we're still in the first quarter. Harold Bailey, the Cowboys need the 30 for the first down. Flag in the air. Bailey keeps it. 30, 35, slips and falls, has the first down. But again, remember, there was a flag down on the play. That was that slick uh, surface was talking about, Chris. He probably had at least five more yards, but he lost his footing on that slick artificial turf. Illegal procedure. The call against Oklahoma State will cost the Cowboys a first down and five yards. You can look at it on replay as Bailey. See, uh, gets a good block here from uh, Terry Miller. Cuts up inside the block. It's good yardage on the play before he uh, loses his footing here. Slips and falls to 35, but again, illegal procedure against the Cowboys. Costs them five instead of being a first down. It is now second down and nine. The ball on the 21. Bailey breaks his Cowboy huddle. Bailey with the football, keeps it, cuts up inside. Hit as he crosses the 25-yard line. Frederick Kinlaw, 62, was over defensively. Obi Moore, 57 as well for the Sooners. So it'll be third down about four for Oklahoma State. Sylvester Bailey, the OSU quarterback, uh, Tulsa, Washington product. In high school, he is all city, all conference, all state, all American, all everything. We may see him a little bit later here too. Harold Bailey, right now the freshman from Houston, Texas, with the football from the 26-yard line. Third and four. Cowboys need the 30. Bailey hit as he tried to make the pitch. It's caught in the air. 10 to 5. Richard Murray, touchdown. The Sooners strike back on a big defensive play as Richard Murray was right there when he the ball was in. Let's take a look. Harold Bailey, number eight. Options down the line. Fakes to skip tail 28. And there is Michael Phillips. Hits it. Richard Murray takes it in the air, and Murray goes all the way. The big junior defensive tackle from Greenville, Texas, number 76, has put Oklahoma suddenly in the lead. He moved that 245 yards on down the field. I like to see that. That's a lineman's dream to be able to score a touchdown. They do all the work. The backs get all the credit, you know. 22-yard touchdown lumber <laughs> for Richard Murray. Can't call it a dash, really. Von Schaumann ready to try for OU's 14th point here. and kicks it up. It's good. Oh, what an offensive first quarter we've had here in Norman, Oklahoma. With three minutes and 34 seconds left in the quarter, the score is Oklahoma 14, Oklahoma State 10. Oklahoma defense puts OU in front for the first time today as Von Schaumann kicks off, waiting for it deep. Harry Miller, and he's in trouble to 10, slides under a couple people to the 12 or 13, and that's it. Harry Miller, 43, and up off the bottom of a big pile of Sooners there. And the Cowboys will be uh, starting first and 10 inside their own 15-yard line. That last scoring drive, if you want to call it a drive, one play, 22 yards, uh, left offensive tackle Richard Murray uh, scoring from 22 yards out after recovering a fumble in the air. Chris, the Sooners have been good at that this year. The defense has made some awfully big plays. Harold Bailey, number eight. The Cowboy quarterback, first and 10, pokes from their own 14. Skip Taylor goes up off the right side across the 15 to about the 17-yard line. Obi Moore, 57, on the tackle there. Also there was Phil Tabor's 74. Gerald Bain, number nine, just joined the uh, Cowboy huddle. Chris, that's the second touchdown the Sooners have gotten off a fumble uh, received in the air. Lee Hoover, of course, in the California game, uh, picked a fumble up. Uh, Dean Blevins fumble in there, went 59 yards for a touchdown. 
Bailey on a second and six in the 18-yard line. Keeps it himself across the 20, up to the 23. He's going to be close to the first down for Oklahoma State. Richard Murray, 76 on the tackle. It's thought that uh, perhaps the Cowboys went with Harold Bailey instead of Charlie Weatherby because uh, Bailey is a better running quarterback, it's felt, by the Cowboys, and he's done an excellent job so far today. Darrell Goforth, Number 72, as you know, we talked about, the uh, fine offensive center, is playing left tackle today. Mike Ritz, 54, is the offensive center. So look for that change in the Cowboy uh, offensive front line. Craig Simmons, 75, we see is also in there. So there have been several changes for OSU in that uh, offensive front. You saw the measurement. It was just short. It is third down and one near the 24-yard line. David Hudgens, 70, is in the Oklahoma defensive front line now. And the Sooners stacking him up front there, as you see, anticipation of a short yardage play. And he keeps it, pushes ahead, and uh, looks like he may have the first down. And the referee signals. Bill Jennings signals first down, Oklahoma State. Two minutes, 42 seconds remaining here in the first quarter that, uh, well, just as we talked about, a great defensive struggle shaping up today. These teams have... Whipped on 24 points on the scoreboard. Oklahoma leading 14 to 10. No competition anywhere in the Big 8 for those girls, the Oklahoma State Pom Pom Girls. Bailey on first and 10 for the Cowboys near their own 25-yard line. Harold Bailey, number eight, looking for his first pass attempt. Didn't get a chance to throw. He's going to run. 30 to the 35, and looks like he has another first down for Oklahoma State. Harold Bailey made the quick fake. Wanted to throw the ball, but uh, had nobody to throw to. Take a look at it, Jim. Here we'll see it again. Bailey uh, raises up. Looks like he's trying to hit someone uh, on the other side of the field. Uh, very good coverage by the Sooner defense, so he just tucks it away and runs it. Showing good heady play there, Chris. And Bailey so far has seven carries for uh, 26 yards. Again, Terry Miller, four carries for 83 yards. Mel at the top of the screen. Taylor at the bottom of the backfield. Goes to Taylor, and Taylor finds running room and goes across the 40-yard line for Oklahoma State. And the Cowboys have been impressive moving the football so far this afternoon. Phil Tabor, 74, tripped up, as you see. Skip Taylor, 28, the choice over Farland Dindy by the Cowboy coaching staff to replace Robert Turner. I'll tell you, Skip's doing a fine job today. But I know Cowboy fans realize what a tough assignment it is to replace a guy like Robert Turner. A truly great running back, and everybody's sorry to see him out for, looks like, maybe the season. Harold Bailey, second and four Cowboys from the 41, need the 45. Terry Miller's not going to get there as he is really hit right as he gets to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard or two more. Richard Murray, 76. Reggie Kenlaw, 62. And Obi Moore in there again, number 57. I think he wants to be back in Sports Illustrated, Jim. That guy has had, uh, and the, he's a second teamer. Uh, you've right. got to realize that. He's just been phenomenal the last two weeks. He, of course, was the Sports Illustrated Defensive Lineman of the Week nationally for his play in the Kansas game. Scott Hill is out. David Hudgens, number seven, he comes in to give him another defensive lineman. It is third and two for the Cowboys. Keep in mind, they need the 45. They're at their own 43. Bailey, outside. Going to have the first down, and it gets to the 45. His neck tied right there. Fine defensive play. Put on him over there. That's Jerry, Jerry Reese, Reese, number 27. Free safety. Take another look at it. Here we'll sit again. Jerry Reese uh, just strung him out around the line there. Didn't stop him in time to keep him from getting the first down, but he did put a, a hard hit around the top of the shoulders. Uh, he may not have gotten the first down. They're taking a look at it as they mark him back at the 35, and they say he's just a couple inches short. So there you see. Look at that. <laughs> That's wow. not even a couple inches. Got to credit the fine defensive player, Jerry Reese. He came over and made it look like Bailey not only had the first down, but a lot more running room. And Reese came across the field from his free safety spot and just made an excellent play. So they'll bring it to the uh, far hash mark, put it down again, just an inch or so short, and let's see what the Cowboys want to do. They're at their own 45. It is fourth down, one now, Oklahoma State. You know, Chris, that was a perfect hit for that type of thing. If he'd hit him low, he'd probably have fallen forward for the first down. That's the only way he could have hit him to keep him from getting the first down. Yeah, the Cowboys aren't interested in any punt here. Oklahoma State's going for it on fourth down, and you know their fans love this. Harold Bailey, freshman out of Houston, Texas, number eight, the quarterback. In zone shot as you'll see him go after it. Bailey keeps, sneaks to the right easily with the first down. 
Follow some good blocking on the right side of the offensive line. Ron Baker, 66. Robert Wingwall, uh, 71. Right tackle. Open the hole there. Obi Moore, 57 on the tackle as Bailey gets the first down for Oklahoma State. First and 10 Cowboys at their own 46. 25 seconds now left in the quarters. You see Jim Stanley talking to Gene Henderson, his offensive coordinator there on the sidelines. May have time for just one more play in this uh, first quarter. It's Oklahoma 14, Oklahoma State 10. Cowboys first and 10 at their own 46-yard line. Bailey keeps it, spins away from one tackler, goes to the 48-yard line. Picks up about three on the play as the first quarter comes to an end. Harold Bailey gets himself up, and Oklahoma will end the first quarter leading Oklahoma State. Our score at the end of one quarter of play here in Norman, Oklahoma, in the 71st renewal of the Bedlam Series, it's Oklahoma 14, Oklahoma State 10. Start the second quarter of the Bedlam series. Oklahoma State with the football. Cowboys second and eight at the 48-yard line. Farland Dindy, number 35, has come into the Cowboy backfield, replacing 43 Trey Miller. You're looking at Harold Bailey, the freshman quarterback for the Cowboys. Bailey, hands off, good hole with the football. Skip Taylor. Taylor stumbles up across the, the 46-yard line. Skip Taylor, number 28. Obi Moore, 57 made the tackle. Skip Taylor is one of those fast backs the Cowboys had his senior year in high school in Cincinnati, Ohio. He set the state record for the 100 and 200 yard, uh, 220 yard dashes. It is another short yardage situation for Oklahoma State on third down. Cowboys want to talk about it. And Jim, that gives us a chance to take a look at the first quarter statistics here. Oklahoma State 131 yards of uh, total offense in the first quarter. All of that rushing. The Cowboys uh, no passing yardage. Oklahoma also all of their yardage came on the ground. 73 yards as the Oklahoma State uh, band out of the end zone. They'll be performing at halftime as will uh, the pride of Oklahoma. University of Oklahoma band. They get a shot of the Sooner band. Equal time all the way here today. Just starting the second quarter with uh, Oklahoma leading Oklahoma State 14 to 10. Most impressive of individually, Terry Miller in the first quarter, five carries, 84 yards, including a 72-yard touchdown run, the first time he uh, touched the football this afternoon on the third play from scrimmage. For Oklahoma, Jimmy Culbreth with three carries, 43 yards, including a 37-yard touchdown. So it has been Terry Miller's explosive run, an Abbey Daigle field goal for the Cowboy 10 points for Oklahoma. It's been the touchdown run by Jim Culberth and then Richard Murray's recovery of a Cowboy fumble in the air and returning at 22 yards, accounting for OU's two touchdowns. 14-10, Oklahoma leads Oklahoma State. And after the Cowboy timeout, here comes Harold Bailey, number eight, the quarterback. Good shot from behind at Bailey. Sets the beer offense for the Cowboys. And the hands off and met right at the line. Given back there, Skip Taylor. Oh, was he hit. Richard Kinlaw, 62, Obi Moore, 57. They, Obi Moore has the football, but uh, they rule it is Oklahoma State's football still. Farland Dindy checking on the carry there. It was Dindy's first carry, and well, that's a heck of a way to be greeted into the game. And he really got hit. So now the Cowboys are faced with another short yardage situation. It is fourth down, about a yard, and uh, no chances this time. They want uh, maybe to try to pin Oklahoma deep, as you see Cliff Parsley, number two. In to punt for the second time this afternoon for him. Parsley, one punt, 44 yards so far today. Zach Henderson, deep inside his 10-yard line. It is fourth down, one. Oklahoma State uh, just a ball's length ahead of the 45-yard line of the Oklahoma Territory. That's a good shot of Zach Henderson. Parsley waits for the snap. 
He just touched it, trying to get a little hop here, but it's going to take a roll into the end zone, and so Oklahoma's going to get it on the touchback. The Sooners will take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Chris, at uh, Terry Miller's current pace, he's going to catch Walt Garrison uh, during this game. He's 122 yards away from being the number four rusher in OSU's history. But uh, really, I look for the OU defense to tighten up a little bit. I believe they were stung early. Well, that they were. I'll tell you, on the third play, Terry Miller goes 72 yards, and I haven't seen uh, any team this season break that kind of play on Oklahoma. Sooners leading 14 to 10. This is OU's first possession of the second quarter. First and 10 from the 20. Thomas Lott, number six, the quarterback, hands to Horace Ivory, 32. And Ivory goes up into the center of the line. Richard Allen, 89, the nose guard on the tackle there. You see Horace Ivory, 32, did not start the game. Had a wrist injury from the Kansas game. And was replaced by Jimmy Rogers, a starter, but uh, Ivory now in there. Ivory was suffering from broken blood vessels in that wrist. Steve Roach, 24, has joined the uh, Sooner Huddle. You see him uh, breaking the ball there. He replaces the tight end, Victor Hicks. Reggie Mathis is the tight end. Just referring, referring with Thomas Lott there. Lott, second and eight, the 22. Lott back to, wants to throw. He's in trouble. The official doesn't help any, and down he goes. <laughs> Great rush put on there. John Weimer, the linebacker, number 57. Had the big rush in there. You see good shot of John right there. Two year letterman from Whittier, California. Here's the replay. Here we're going to see it again. And uh, there goes Lott back to try the pass. Now watch this great defensive play the official puts on Lott as he tries to get away from the Cowboy rush. <laughs> no way, right there. Big number 57 comes up behind, and that's uh, that's it for Mr. Lott on that play right there. John Weimer with the tackle. Loss of five on the play. So it is. Uh, Third down now for the Sooners. The football back at the 16-yard line. Keep in mind, they need the 30 for the first down. Third down, 14 for OU. Lott, hand off the middle, and Peacock, 25, 30, first down, 35, 40. It's 45, a midfield, 40, 30. Peacock, 10. Touchdown, Elvis Peacock. 84 yards. Looked like a simple draw play, Chris. Wow. Worked beautifully. Explosive play. Here we'll see it again on replay as Thomas Lott, number six, hands straight up the middle. Nothing fancy. Great blocking. That's Peacock what it was. bounces outside, and uh, you're not going to catch that guy. One Coming man up, had to... uh, making a shot of him is Gary Irons, a free safety, number three. But you see Elvis step away from him there, and uh, well, that was it right there. 84 yards for the touchdown. And Oklahoma's used the big play. Now came on a third down, 14 play for OU. Ron Shaman ready to attempt the extra point. Kick is good. And Oklahoma, that found themselves suddenly down 10 to nothing, has fought back here and leads Oklahoma State 21 to 10, 12.46 left here in the first half. We'll keep it right here. And uh, Jim, they're making a sound bad. We talked about, as everybody had said, this will probably be a game of defense. Well, not really, Chris. Uh, if you've noticed, we've had no sustained drives. All the scoring plays have come on uh, big breaks and uh, on fumbles and stuff like that. We've had no sustained scoring drives. So the defenses, 90% uh, of the time, they're playing real well. <laughs> it's just the other 10% of the time that they let down. And they're 31 points on the board right now. <laughs> That drive was three plays, 80 yards. Of course, uh, the big play, Elvis Peacock going in from 84 yards out. Here's the shot of the Pride of Oklahoma band. A lot of alums, of course, back in Norman today for uh, homecoming 1976. They're being treated to quite a football game here. Von Shaman will be kicking off for OU. 12.46 left in the first half. Oklahoma 21, Oklahoma State 10. That's a good look at Von Shaman, number 10, Fort Worth, Texas. And Shaman booms it. Waiting for it. Skip Taylor inside the five. Taylor, 15. And he'll get about the 17-yard line, and that's it. Mike Babb, number 14, uh, one of the tacklers on the play. And Oklahoma State trailing Oklahoma 21 to 10. Mike Babb was an outstanding high school player in Ada, Oklahoma. First down 10 for the Cowboys. Football on the OSU 17-yard line. Harold Bailey is still the quarterback. Darrell Goforth back at center now as he's moved into the center spot. He had been at the tackle earlier. Bailey to Terry Miller, and oh, Miller is necktie there. Darrell Hunt, 85, jumped on him as he went uh, quickly on the play. 
Terry Miller, 43. Don't on Elvis Peacock, Jim. Well, that's Peacock's longest uh, run this year. That's uh, not only this year, that's his longest run in, in his career at OU. He's, uh, we might have a couple of hundred yard rushers by halftime, Chris. <laughs> Very likely. I'll tell you, Terry Miller with 84 yards right now. It is second down, eight Cowboys. Bailey, the quarterback, going to throw the football. Looks like it's partially deflected there. It was partially deflected as he tried to uh, get it out for Gerald Bain, number nine. Maybe getting a hand up on the play. Reggie Kinlaw, 62, the nose guard. And uh, so the first passing attempt of the day for either team uh, goes for not. Partially deflected. Mike Ritz back in at the uh, center going out of the football game right now. It is third down eight for Oklahoma State football on the 19-yard line. Bailey, the quarterback. Draw play to Taylor, and he's in trouble. Caught behind the line. Down he goes. Reggie Kinlaw, 62. Made a fine defensive play. There you see Kinlaw, 76. Richard Murray helping him up, and the OU defense comes up with a big play. Listen to the crowd here in Norman. Reggie Kinlaw had a very big week last week against Kansas, too, Chris. 12 tackles last week for nine yards and losses. Kinlaw been having a, a very good uh, two weeks. Getting checked out on Mike Ritz, number 54, the senior from Putnam City who started the game. He is injured and has been helped to the dressing room. So that's why go for us back at center for the Cowboys. Over his deep, Parsley standing near his goal line. Fourth down, 11. Parsley jumps for the football and boots it away. Over takes it at the 38-yard line, and he's going to get maybe two or three yards, and that's it. Fine defensive play, L.P. Williams. Number 12 comes down to make the hit on nine, Lee Hover, and Oklahoma will have the football again. Good field position, first and 10. The Sooners in their own 43. Cliff Parsley punts 46 yards, a return of just four yards. Well, the people came prepared today with the rain gear and everything, but uh, some looks like it's trying to break through here. Still cloudy, overcast day, but looks like they're uh, still trying to get in there. Quit raining just about the, just right before kickoff, Chris, so it worked out pretty well. Look who's a quarterback. Number two, Dean Blevins was in there for the first time in the last three weeks. Man in motion. Blevins goes back to pass. Dean looks for, I mean, it's intercepted at the 35, 40, 45, midfield, 45, 40, 35 to the 31 yard line. Gary Irons, the free safety, picked off Dean Blevins' first pass in his first appearance since uh, before the Texas game. We'll see it again on replay. Okay, okay, Chris, you had to think OSU was expecting this because Blevins is noted as a much better passer than Lott, and there you see Gary Irons is stepping uh, right in front of the receiver and returning it for good yardage. Chris Dawson put the big rush on for the Cowboys, and so Oklahoma State takes advantage here, or gets a chance to take advantage of a turnover as they have a deep in OU territory. 33-yard return, first and 10 Cowboys at the Sooner 31. 21-10, Oklahoma lead. Skip Taylor hurdles up across the line, gets maybe a yard before he's shoved back. Daryl Hunt, 85, the linebacker, on the play. Now you see Daryl Hunt being congratulated. Gary Backus, 88. Also Jerry Reese, 27. Daryl Hunt, sophomore from Odessa, Texas, 6'4", 215. Second down nine, gain of just one on the play for OSU. Cowboys at the Sooner 30. After the pass interception, Cowboys are threatening. Two wide receivers, Harold Bailey, the quarterback. Bailey keeps it, cuts up inside at the 25, down to the 23-yard line and spins near the 21. Harold Bailey, number eight on the carry, Scott Hill. Number seven, the strong safety for Oklahoma. Makes a tackle, but not before Bailey picks up a first down for Oklahoma State. First and 10, Cowboys the 21. That's just a super fake by Bailey that time. He even fooled us up here in the press box. Bailey, uh, 10 carries, 30 yards so far. 10 minutes, 14 seconds left in the second quarter. It is Oklahoma 21, Oklahoma State 10. Cowboys threatening, though, with a first down at the Sooner 21. Bailey, the quarterback. Hands off, and Terry Miller is met right there. No gain, maybe a loss on the play. 62, Reggie Kinlaw, 76, Richard Murray. Oh, Kinlaw is so quick. I'll tell you, Sooner coaches feel that, you know, they have lost, of course, the great Selmans, uh, Jimbo L. Rod, but if they have a great player on the defensive front, it is Reggie Kinlaw, and he's just a sophomore. 
McFarland Dindy is in the football game. Skip Taylor comes out, so it's Dindy and Miller in the Cowboy backfield. Bailey looking over the OU defense. Wants the ball wiped off here with a second down and 11. Keep in mind, OSU has to reach the sooner 11-yard line for a first down. The Scott, place, the place Scott. of football here. Excuse me, they're going to rehuddle. Go ahead, Jim. Scott Hill back to the ball game. You know, Chris, I, I've been watching the Sooner defense, and they're, they're jumping around a lot. I think uh, probably Bailey is having some trouble sometime reading that defense. Oh, the young freshman quarterback. I'm sure he's getting a lot of looks out there from the Sooners. Bailey on second down and 11. Bailey keeps it. Intercepted inside the 10. 15. Now stepping out of bounds <laughs> with the football, it was the linebacker Daryl Hunt, number 85, who dropped back to make the interception. That's uh, Daryl's uh, at least second interception of the season, and he'll take a look at on replay. Let's watch it again. Daryl Hunt, you hear about Obi Moore and Bill Dawkey. Daryl Hunt, you don't hear that much about the guy, but he's a super athlete. Now watch him just step in here, and he's in perfect position. And there you go, right to him. So both teams' uh, passing game is uh, certainly not much of a threat so far today. Thrown uh, what a total of about three times. Bailey uh, has thrown twice, had one intercepted, no completions. Now Thomas Lott's back in at quarterback. Lott hands off to Kenny King. King goes up to the 20-yard line. He'll pick up three to four on the play. Richard Allen, 89. The Cowboy nose guard makes a tackle on number 30, Kenny King. You see getting up there. Pick up about four. It'll be second down and six. Eight minutes, 45 seconds left in the first half. Oklahoma 21, Oklahoma State 10. Remember, the Cowboys led 10-0. Since then, it has been Oklahoma reeling off 21 straight points. Lot number six. The quarterback hands to Horace Ivory, and uh, Ivory squirts up to about the 23-yard uh, line. It'll be third down, short yardage for OU. Chris Dawson, 97, Richard Allen, 89. On the tackle of Horace Ivory, you see there, number 32. He was a questionable starter today because of a wrist injury in the Kansas game, and uh, in fact uh, was replaced in the starting lineup by Jimmy Rogers, but has uh, seen quite a bit of action since then. Double tight ends for OU on the third down and three from the 24. Need the 27 for the first down. Lott makes the pitch wide to Ivory. He's in big trouble. Down he goes back around the 20, and OU's going to be forced to punt the football. There's a fine play by the Cowboy defense. John Weimer, 57. Daria Butler, 59, combined to make the stop. We'll see it on replay here, Jim. Okay, now he'll pick up a good block from Elvis Peacock, knocking down the corner man right there on your screen. But this was just excellent pursuit once again by that fast Cowboy defense. Uh, you notice linebackers and linemen are making the tackle and not the backs. There's one back in there. But that's just good uh, pursuit on the Cowboys' part. Hatcher jumps high to uh, get it away. Fair catch call for and taken at the Oklahoma State 47-yard line. And the Cowboys will uh, start from there. Peter Capola, the uh, strong safety, was the fellow who made the fair catch. 33 yard on the punt. And Oklahoma State will have good field position. First and 10 Cowboys, their own 47 yard line. I think it's important, certainly, for Oklahoma State to uh, get down here and get some points on the board to get some momentum back for the Cowboys after jumping out to the 10 nothing lead. As you mentioned, they have. Uh, Watched OU uh, come back with three quick touchdowns, including one from a defensive play. Harold Bailey, freshman quarterback, takes the snap, hands off to Farland Dindy in the football game, who crosses midfield into Sooner territory, down to about the 48. Richard Murray, 76, Obi Moore, 57, combined on the tackle. Dindy, 35, is a sophomore from Mangum, 6'2", 195 pounds. Hasn't played that much this year, uh, Chris, but in the varsity alumni game the spring, he had 61 yards, so he can run with the ball. Cowboys send out two receivers. Lot out of the top of the screen. Vain to the bottom of the screen. Miller, Dindy in the backfield. Second down and five as Harold Bailey takes the snap. Hands off. Uh, Terry Miller gets near the 45-yard line before being bent back there. Michael Phillips, 89, in on the tackle. You see Terry Miller kind of straightening himself up. Phil Tabor, 74, also in on the stop for the Sooners. Third down, Oklahoma State in about two. Football at the Sooner 45-yard line. Break the huddle again is loud to the top of the screen. This time Ricky Taylor comes to the bottom. Harold Bailey, Dindy and Miller behind him, waiting for the snap. Keeps it. Bailey cuts up inside. First and ten at the 40-yard line and spun down there. 
Daryl Hunt, 85, makes the tackle on Bailey, but not before this uh, final confreshman quarterback on a good beer option play comes down the line and gets the first down for the, the Cowboys. Bailey going back, number eight, right with number nine is Gerald Bain, his junior wide receiver. Harold Bailey now, 12 carries, 44 yards, picks up a first down on that play. The Cowboys with seven first downs to Oklahoma's five here in the first half. Six minutes now left in the first half. From the Sooner 39, Bailey takes the snap on the draw play to Miller. Miller breaks some tackles, goes inside the 35, and is finally collared about the 32 or three yard line. Michael Phillips, 89, Jerry Reese, 27, in on the tackle. Here we'll see it again, Chris. Once again, giving to the bread and butter player, Miller takes the ball, and like I said, he does break a couple of tackles there, gets turned around, tries to spin away, but no way. The Oklahoma defense also has some pursuit, and uh, there's a bunch of Sooners uh, bringing Miller down. Again, race 27, Phillips 89 on the stop. Gain of six, though, for Terry Miller. Second down four at the OU 33. Cowboys need the 29 for the first down. Bailey, oh, is stacked up there. Not going to get a chance. Trying to get outside. Got uh, jammed up there. Craig Simmons, the... Uh, Lyman 75 uh, kind of got jammed up on the play. He couldn't get around him. Daryl Hunt 85, Obi Moore 57. The OU linebackers combined to make the stop, and the Cowboys are faced with a third down at about three. That was just a super play by Daryl Hunt, Chris. He, he was blocked, and the man was all over him, and he still spun away, and with his great agility, turned around and made the play. Bain goes to the top of the screen, number nine. Lyle to the bottom of the screen, third down and three. Cowboys need the 29 for the first down as Bailey keeps it. Hands to Miller. Miller has the first down near the 26-yard line of OU. Big first third down conversion for Oklahoma State. You see the Cowboys sideline. Here comes Terry Miller out with a shoe in his hand as he lost that on the last play. Miller now. Look at this statistic, Jim. Uh, 10 carries, 100 yards. That's one of our 100-yarders was talking about halftime. Of course, Chris Lincoln said before the game it'd be a defensive struggle. I said that. <laughs> I thought Jim Cook said that. No, I could have sworn. Been a great really. football game. 21-10, <laughs> Sooners leading here. 420 left in the first half. Harold Bailey makes a pitch out. It goes to Dendy to the 20-yard line. Cuts inside, and Farland Dendy makes a fine run. And the Cowboys are moving. Sam Lyle, 84, the wide receiver, came in with a good block on the corner there. As you see Farland Dendy, 35, I think will... Get another look at Farland Dindy in action here, Jim. Okay, watch the speed merchant right here. Now, this uh, young man is senior year in high school. Still made, he made alternate All-State, although he was injured and out uh, the last five games of the season. He, he still managed to gain 746 yards in, the, in, in five games. Super athlete. Zach Henderson, 19. Jervis, 27 on the tackles. Second and four. OSU needs the 16 for a first down. And off again to Dindy. He looks like he'll be short of that first down. Picks up a couple yards. It'll be third down, short yardage for the Cowboys. Bailey's reading the option, too, as he uh, making some fine pitches today. Richard Murray, 76. O.B. Moore, 57, the tackle. Here comes Dindy out towards the sidelines. And Terry Miller replaces him. Skip Taylor is uh, also in the backfield, along with Miller. Oklahoma State, now third down, two at the 18. The Cowboys have been four of eight on third down conversions, a very good percentage today. They need the 16. Bailey jammed up, in trouble. He's not going to get it. He got jammed up there. And he's going to be held short. It'll be fourth down. Gary Backus, or Dwayne Backus, 88. Obi Moore, 57. Make the tackle. I keep trying to bring Gary Backus back onto the team. Abby Daigle coming in for a apparent field goal attempt for Oklahoma State. It is fourth down. Still three for the Cowboys at the 19-yard line. Daigle has the tee down at about the 25. Kent Shirley, number 17, will be holding. Daigle, you see there, number one. Abby's one for one today on field goals, and he'll try this one from about 35 yards. On the tee, Daigle's kick is up, and it's good. Daigle's kick is good, and with two minutes and 21 seconds left in an explosive first half here in Norman, our score now, Oklahoma 21, Oklahoma State 13. Two 
21 to play here in the first half. Abby Daigle just kicked a 35-yard field goal. 21-13. Oklahoma leads Oklahoma State, and Daigle approaches the football as it falls off the tee. What about that drive, Jim? That's a 54-yard drive, 12 plays. Of course, Daigle boot, uh, booting it through the uprights from 35 yards out. He's 5 of 12 now on the year, Chris. He is a super player. Has been a great one for Oklahoma State. Daigle now approaches the football, and it falls off again. Now, Abby may need a little assistance here as he places it on the tee once again. The flag's blowing uh, pretty briskly at uh, Abby Daigle's back, swirling around a bit. So now they're going to have uh, Dale Miller, 33, hold the football, so Daigle will kick it away from a holding position. End over end, and bounces it's they said out of bounds so it'll be penalized five yards and uh, Daigle after all that's gonna have to try it again just skipped out of bounds as you see the official there inside the one yard line so they'll penalize the Cowboys back to the 35 and make Daigle kick it again again he has a stiff breeze at his back at the start of the game we had uh, cloudy skies temperature is 63 degrees Wind south at uh, 15 miles per hour. It had rained earlier in the morning, but as you mentioned, it has not rained uh, during the game. So Daigle puts it back on the 35-yard line, and uh, Abby will get himself a good 15-yard run here. This one straight down the middle. Takes a couple hops and goes all the way into the end zone, and it's going to be a touchback. So Abby Daigle doesn't bother him at all. Put him back five more yards, gets it to spin this time right into the end zone, and so Oklahoma will start first and ten Sooners from their own 20-yard line. I'm really surprised we're not seeing more slipping and sliding than we have, Chris. We was watching the two teams warm up before the game, and they was having trouble keeping their footing. It hasn't seemed to be that much of a problem uh, during the game. What? Footing, it hasn't seemed to be that much of a problem uh, during the game. I want to take a look at this Oklahoma offensive line. Again, uh, the great All-American tackle Mike Vaughn did not even uh, suit up for the game today, so he will not be in action. This place taken by Sam Clappen, 63 at the right tackle. Handoff uh, spinning up the middle for the Sooners. Kenny King, the fullback, to about the 23 or 4 yard line. Short gain on the play. Looking at Thomas Lott, number six, and the Sooner offensive huddle, Lee Hover comes in, number nine, with a play from the sidelines. Center is Jody Farthing, 53. Jaime Melendez, 60. Greg Roberts, 65. The guards, Balderswaller, clapping the tackles for OU. Lott, handoff. Peacock, 30, first down. John Weimer, 57. And on the stop, also Dale Miller, 33, helped make the tackle, but not before Elvis Peacock. They picked up a first down for OU and a gain of about eight on the play to the 31-yard line. First and 10, Oklahoma. Time running out here in the first half. One minute, 40 seconds to play in the first half. 21-13, Oklahoma leads Oklahoma State. Lot the quarterback, number six, wishbone behind him. Now Elvis Peacock goes in motion from the top to the bottom of the screen. And off Kenny King up the middle, and King is greeted right there by a host of Cowboys. Richard Allen, 89, Dale Miller, 33. In on the tackle, you see King being helped up there by uh, Gary Irons. Got another 100-yarder for you, Jim. Peacock, five carries, 102 yards. So, uh, you know, we, we're good at reversing our position. Right after we said it was going to be a defensive struggle, we turned around and said it was going to have 200-yard rushers by halftime. So we're always on top of it, Chris. Talk about Scotty Hill uh, being tough and playing. So is Dale Miller. He had two injured knees, wasn't expected to play, but the Cowboy linebacker, number 33, is in there. Second and nine, Oklahoma. Lot, handoff, and just short yardage up the middle it goes. Unpiling there on Elvis Peacock, number four, Philip Dokes, 91, is there. Boy, don't you know Oklahoma's glad to see the last of Philip Dokes. This is senior year, of course. The timeout has been called. Oklahoma State has uh, stopped the clock here with uh, 44 seconds. Chris, you're speaking about Philip Dokes and Oklahoma being glad to see the young man go. He had 14 tackles last year against OU. Uh, he's a big man, but he runs to the 40 in about 4-9. So he's big, fast, and he can be mean when he wishes to. Which, which is just about every time he plays the OU Sooners. <laughs> sure of that. He really comes up with some fine play. 
Hey, you see that uh, wind up at the top of the stadium blowing pretty good. I just said it was about 50 miles per hour at the uh, start of the game, maybe more than that now. John Cork is in at linebacker. Dale Miller is out. That's uh, in the Oklahoma State defense. 45 Corker in. Miller 33 is out. It's on a Cowboy timeout that leaves Oklahoma State, uh, for what it's worth, with one timeout left in the first half. The Sooners still have two. And uh, you'd have to think Oklahoma would be looking for a big play or two to try to get uh, in field goal range for Von Schaumann, which is not going to be easy because that's a mighty stiff wind blowing against him. So it's going to take some big plays as Rhodes goes to the bottom of the screen. There you see the time of the scoreboard left here in the first half. Man in motion is Horace Ivory. Lot calling on a third and seven from the 33. Lot keeps, cuts up inside at 35, needs the 40 for the first down or just to cross it and may have it. Peter Coppola, 21, the strong safety, comes up on the play. They're marking it just across the 40, and that's just about where the stick is, so we may have to bring the chains across, and we will take another look, and here's a look on replay. Okay, here goes Thomas Lott. He's going to really get popped here as he gets across the line of scrimmage. Right there, bang. Say hello to the turf. That's a very good hit there put on by the OSU defender. Let's take a look at the chains there, Jim. See what they find out. Bill Jennings, the referee, right down there with it. It's going to be a first down, Chris. First and 10, Oklahoma. The Sooners now on uh, first downs today would have uh, seven Oklahoma State with eight in the first half. 39 seconds left here halftime. There's some of the fans who have turned out for this uh, ball game. They're seeing a very good one too this afternoon. And I'm sure they'll be treated to a fine halftime show. Of course, we'll break away. We'll not show you halftime. We'll be back, of course, with second half action right after this first half ends on this special delayed telecast. I hope you're enjoying here on KTUL in Tulsa. Peacock with a handoff goes across the 40, and uh, the crowd reacts a little bit as John Corkett, freshman linebacker, got a good stick in there. Mark the football just across the 42-yard line. Give him just a couple on the play. Second out eight, five seconds left to play in the first half, and Oklahoma stops the clock, and we'll keep it right here as uh, Thomas Lott's going to wander over to the Sooner sideline and uh, discuss things with the offensive coaches, see what they like to try here with five seconds left to play in the first half. Again, uh, some of the crowd here, uh, as usual, whenever Oklahoma's playing, it's a sellout crowd. And uh, take a look, a replay here of Thomas Lott in action, the uh, fine sophomore quarterback of the Sooners on that play. Now, you'll see where the crowd reacts. Here comes Ellis Peacock. Good hit here. And then, whoa, here goes Richard Allen uh, trying to uh, take a look at his helmet, I guess, there. <laughs> Wanted a close-up look at Elvis on that play, so tried to get his helmet off of him. John Corker was the one that made that hit. He's the uh, young man getting his chance to start this afternoon for the Cowboys, so why shouldn't he put a good hit on Peacock when he gets a chance? So five seconds left to play in the first half. This may very well be the last play of the second quarter as Thomas Lott comes up. The Sooners on their own 42-yard line. And they're going to hand it right up the middle, as you see there, and there's no time left, and that is going to be the end of the first half. And what a first half of football we've seen here. Both teams coming up with big offensive plays. The Sooners uh, also adding a big defensive play. And right now that you could say is the difference at halftime here in Norman, Oklahoma. Our score, as you see there, Oklahoma 21, Oklahoma State 13. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment with the second half kickoff, all the second half action of this Oklahoma-Oklahoma State game, the 71st meeting between the schools. As the special late telecast continues, we'll pause now for halftime.
21. Jim Cook, uh, along with Chris Lincoln, were at halftime of the OUOSU game. The score 21 to 13. The Sooners leading the Cowboys, and the teams are just taking the field once again. Let's recap the scoring briefly in the first half. Uh, half. The Cowboys got on the scoreboard first on the third play of the game. Terry Miller scooted 72 yards down the sideline. He capped an 80-yard drive. The PAT was good. OSU led it 7 to nothing. Then on OU's first offensive play from scrimmage, Elvis Peacock fumbled the ball on the 23-yard line. The Cowboys recovered seven plays later. Abby Daigle hit a 25-yard field goal. OSU uh, led then 10 to nothing. OU got on the scoreboard with 5-11 left to go in the first quarter on a 37-yard run by Jim Culberth. That capped a 46-yard drive in four plays, and the score OSU 10, OU 7. Then, uh, with 12.46 left to go in the second quarter, OU put together an 80-yard drive in three plays. Uh, uh, Elvis Peacock going 84 yards for the touchdown. OU then led it 21 to 10. Abby Daigle kicked a 35-yard field goal to, uh, in the second quarter with 2.21 left to go. Uh, that capped a 54-yard drive in 12 plays. That made the score OU 21, OSU 13. And then Richard Murray, uh, the big lineman, the left tackle on the OU defensive line, got the lineman's dream. He got to score a, a touchdown. I'll tell you how that happened. Harold Bailey was hit on a pitch out uh, by Mike Phillips. Harold Bailey, of course, the OSU quarterback. Uh, Richard Murray recovered it in the air, scored on a 22-yard run, and uh, OU led 14 to 10. That was a play before the final touchdown. Okay. Right, we stand 21-13. Jim, ready to start the second half. Oklahoma State hit by a personal foul to start the second half before the ball's even snap. And so uh, it means Von Schaumann will be able to move the football to the Cowboy 45 for the kickoff to start the second half. It was Oklahoma State's option. OU won the opening toss, chose the win, so OSU chose to receive, and they have asked to receive again. Onside kick, Sooners trying to get it. Scramble for it, let's see. Oklahoma has it inside the 30-yard line. So that penalty paid off. Lee Hover, number nine, is on the football for the Sooners. And OU gets a big break here, making it themselves to start the second half. Lee Hover, you see in there, number nine, being congratulated on the bench. Von Schaumann just spun it down there, and Hoover was on it. Inside the Cowboy 30 at the 28-yard line. Now, remember that followed a penalty against Oklahoma State that moved the football to the 45 when the Sooners kicked off. Thomas Lott, number six, the quarterback. Horace Ivory, 32, goes up near the 25-yard line. They'll get about three on the play. That set the offense for the Sooners. Kenny King, number 30, 32, Horace Ivory. Elvis Peacock, number four, in the backfield. Steve Rhodes, 24, about to join the Sooner huddle. There he is, giving the play to Thomas Lott. Now Rhodes will go up to the top of the screen. Victor Hicks, number 80, you see, going as tight in there to the right. Lott. King, Peacock, Ivory behind him. Fakes to Kenny King. Lot cuts up inside the 25 near the 21-yard line. Game three or four on the play. Lorenzo Turner is 77. Makes a tackle in his defensive end spot. Number three, Gary Irons is also in there. Some of the first half statistics as we have time, Jim. First down, Oklahoma State had eight. Oklahoma six rushing yardage, 39 rushes for Oklahoma State, 187 yards, uh, 24 for the Sooners for 180 yards. Neither team had any yardage passing whatsoever, which was really no surprise. Third and three, the Sooners need the 18 for a first down here. Lot hands off, Kenny King spins, and does he have the 18? He is close to it. John Weimer, 57, linebacker, makes the tackle for the Cowboys, and uh, we'll have to wait and see. Bill Jennings says, no, they are short. So it is going to be fourth down for Oklahoma. Short yardage. Let's see if the Sooners are thinking about a field goal. Apparently not. The crowd reacts as Steve Roach, 24, comes in with a play. The freshman from Dallas goes to the top of the screen. Split out. Kenny King, Ivory Peacock in the backfield with Thomas Lott. And off King, straight ahead, looks like he has the first down. Kenny King, inside the 18-yard line, Bill Jennings wants to call the chains across. We won't make any decisions yet on it. OU offensive line, Jody Farley, number 53, the center. Jaime Melendez, 60, the left guard. Greg Roberts, 65, the right guard. Call Balderschwader, left tackle, number 67. Sam Clappen, the junior from Stillwell is in in place of the injured All-American uh, Mike Vaughn. There you see, first down, Oklahoma. 
So Kenny King on a fourth down and one gets two. And Oklahoma has a first and ten at the Cowboy 18 yard line. line Going out split to the top of the screen. OU sends Mickey Hatcher to the top. Wishbone behind the quarterback Thomas Lott from the Cowboy 18. Lott keeping it. Gets just a couple yards. Fine defensive play. Lorenzo Turner, 77. Helped to spin him down there as Lott tried to go outside the right end. Just underway here in the third quarter. It's Oklahoma 21, Oklahoma State 13. Cowboys picked up uh, some problems right away as uh, they saw Oklahoma recover the opening kickoff of the second half at OSU's 33-yard line on the onside kick. Lee Hover at the top of the screen, just out of the picture now as Thomas Lott bends under center. Second down, nine at the 16-yard line. Man in motion is Horace Ivory. Lott inside the 15, down to about the 12-yard line. It'll be third down, about four for OU. Peter Capola, 21. The strong safety on the tackle. There you see him spot it uh, right at the 13-yard line. Keep in mind, uh, they need about five yards here. Just inside the eight would give Oklahoma a first and goal situation. Thomas Lott, who's been in all but one play for OU. Here's Horace Ivory going in motion out of the wishbone. Lott. Keeps it, cuts up inside near the 10. He's going to be short of the first down. It'll be fourth down, about two. Barry Switch is going to send in the field goal team. John Weimer, 57, makes the tackle, and Thomas Lott, number six. You see Thomas uh, heading for the sidelines, and there's head coach Barry Switzer walking down the sideline there and talking a little bit. Now he's doing a little quarterback coaching here with Thomas Lott. So it is fourth down, three, Oklahoma, the football right near the Cowboy 10-yard line. Ron Shaman will have his tee on the 17, a 27-yard field goal. Slight angle from right to left. Ron Shaman out of the big rush. Kicks it up. It's perfect. Ron Shaman now 6 of 8 on the year. And Oklahoma is on the scoreboard first in the second half. 11 minutes and three seconds left to play in the third quarter. It's now Oklahoma 24, Oklahoma State 13. Off for Oklahoma following his uh, field goal as OU leads 24 to 13. Terry Miller watches this one sail through the end zone, and Oklahoma State will go on offense for the first time in the second half. First and 10 Cowboys on their own 20 yard line. Chris was talking about first half statistics in the punting uh, category. OU punted two times for a 37.5 average. Uh, Cliff Parsley, OSU's fine punter, came in here ranked sixth nationally, 45.3 yard per kick average. He's right on it. He kicked three times for 45 yards per kick average. Harold Bailey has gone all the way. The freshman at quarterback for Oklahoma State's over center right now, number eight. Bailey, option play in trouble. Might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. It's great pursuit from OU. Obi Moore, linebacker, 57, was over there. Also, Dwayne Back is 88. Richard Murray, 76. Here comes uh, Gerald Bain into the football game. Ricky Taylor will go out as Bain will have a play from the Cowboys sideline. Third quarter, Tennessee 10, Florida 10. Mike Ritz. We'll talk about him in a moment. The starting center has come back on the field with his shoe off, uh, injured in the first half, is back to pass. Bailey and throws out on the flat, wide open as receiver, but uh, thrown poorly, way behind him. Gerald Bain had no chance at it. Harold Bailey had all kinds of time to throw the football. You look at Gerald Bain, who was wide open in the flat, had to make a dive back for the ball, and uh, really didn't have a chance at it. So we've yet to have a pass completion in the football game this afternoon. It is now third down and 10 for the Cowboys. Reminder, our score, OU 24, OSU 13. 10-22 left, third quarter. 
Two men split off for the Cowboys on third and ten. They need the 30 for the first down. Harold Bailey takes the snap, hands off, and no chance. Terry Miller met at the line of scrimmage by three or four red shirts. Reggie Kinlaw, 62, was there. Obi Moore, 57, was there. Darrell Hunt, 85. And listen to the Sooner fans salute their defense. Oklahoma State will be forced to punt on third, fourth, and ten on their first offensive possession of the second half. 24-13, OU. Biff Parsley back inside his 10-yard line. Yeah, it's a beauty away. Lee Hover calls for the fair catch, takes it about the 37-yard line, and there Biff Parsley has showed off some of the reason why he is just the best punter in the Big 8 Conference. 43-yard punt on the play for Cliff Parsley. So the Sooner offense comes back, and uh, Jim, you touched on a point in the first half. I think we talked about the scoring. It's been a surprise. They've had maybe so many points on the board, but really none of it's been by sustained drives. It's been the big plays. That's right, Chris. was talking about having two 100-yard rushers in the fast uh, first half. Terry Miller of OSU had 100 yards on 10 rushes, but he had one run for 72 yards. Elvis Peacock for OU had uh, 103 yards on seven rushes, but he had one run for 84 yards. So it's been on big plays. First and 10, Oklahoma, Thomas Lott, the quarterback, centers their own 37. Here in the third quarter, about 9.40 left in the quarter. Now both men of the wishbone go in motion. Flags go as well. It's the first time we've seen that. Lott's looking to throw. He can't find anybody. He's in trouble, 35. Another flag goes down. Flags all over the field. Well, that's the first time we've seen Oklahoma send both backs in motion. I can't believe they worked on that. Somebody got their signals messed up, I think. And uh, we had both halfbacks in the wishbone heading different directions. And flags went flying as soon as they took off. Well, we'll get it straightened out as Bill Jennings is talking over there with Philip Dokes. Thomas Lott saw those uh, passes go. Now watch this. He looks like he wants to, uh, you know, call the play off, but Big Phillips Dokes, uh, Dokes come in there, and there's no way he's going to stand there and let Dokes land on him. So uh, number six Lott there went ahead and, and ran the play out. John Weimer, 57, finally made the tackle, and uh, here's a call from uh, Jennings. Illegal shift, backfield in motion against Oklahoma. It costs the Sooners five yards, and it's now first down, but 15 from OU's 32-yard line. Keep in mind that 47 is where the Sooners have to go to get a first down. That's the first penalty against OU today, so I know the Sooner coach will be happy with that. And off up the middle, and nowhere goes Kenny King as he is stacked up on the play. Little or no gain. There you see number 30, Kenny King. Richard Allen, the uh, nose guard, makes the tackle on the play. No gain, second down, still 15, the football to 32. 24 13, Oklahoma. Becky Hatcher split in, goes to the top of the screen. You're looking at Thomas Lott, the OU quarterback, wishbone behind him. Bott going to keep it himself, cuts inside and goes to the 35-yard line, scramble for the football, and they threw him down on the play. You see Philip Dokes getting up with some help from Lorenzo Turner, 77. Dokes, of course, 91. John Cork, the linebacker, 45, credited with that last stop. You look at John right there. So it's third down, 12, Oklahoma. Gained it just about three yards on the last play. Soon as back at their own 35-yard line, Rhodes comes to the bottom of the screen. Uh, neither team has completed the pass yet this afternoon. Thomas Lott on the third down and 12. Hands to Ivory. Ivory spinning, but it's not going to get anywhere near the first down. The ball is loose, and they say Oklahoma State has it. With a football, jumping up with it is Jerry Apato, the defensive end, number 59. As Horace Ivory had it, here is the replay coming. Let's see what happens. Uh, Lott gives the ball to Horace Ivory right there, number 32. He's just hit real hard in there. He should have had that ball. It looked like he had the ball put away, Chris. Uh, evidently, in the pile up there, when he hit the ground, the ball just bounced loose. 89, Richard Allen uh, credited with the tackle. Fumble recovery, Daria Butler, 59, and here come the Cowboys. And Charlie Weatherby is the quarterback for the first time this afternoon at the OU 37. Weatherby back to throw. Hit as he throws, it's going to be incomplete. Somebody got a hand on either Charlie or the football, and I believe it was 76. Big Richard Murray was intended out there for number 40, Ricky Taylor. So great pressure on as Charlie Weatherby's in the football game for the first time. The senior, 6'2", 185, from Fort Scott, Kansas. Get a good look at Charlie right there. Three-year letterman for Oklahoma State. Weatherby known as the better passer of the Cowboy quarterback corps. Second and 10, OSU at the Sooner 37. Weatherby, hands off, Terry Miller, 
wrestled down around the 30-yard line. Darrell Hunt, 85. One of them on him. Scott Hill, number seven, is also there. You know, you're talking about Charlie Weatherby being known as the better passer. Here's the primary reason, I think, Chris. They probably went to the Veer last year. He came alive with his passing in the latter part of the season. He hit six of nine for 237 yards and three TDs against Kansas State last year. They felt like they had to utilize that a little bit more. However, this year, Charlie has been up and down. Looked great against Kansas passing. Didn't look too, uh, too good against Colorado. And then he brings his Cowboys up on third and fourth from the 30. They need the Sooner 26. Weatherby hands Skip Taylor. It looks like he may be close to the first down from OSU. Skip Taylor, 28 on the carry. Dwayne back is 88 on the tackle and helps him up. And it is first down for Oklahoma State. We'll see this one again. Skip Taylor, 28. Okay, here you see uh, Skip Taylor getting the handoff, just blasting right up through there. Good, strong running by Taylor. He gains about three, four yards on his own there. Good, strong uh, leg strength. Yeah, I'll go for 72. The center, Jim Letford, uh, left guard 61 with some fine blocking in there. Weatherby, back to pass, pumps once, throws again, wide open with the football. Bain inside the 15, down near the 10-yard line. It'll be a first down for Oklahoma State. Scott Hill, number seven, the strong safety, making the tackle on number nine, Gerald Bain, you see right there. Here we'll sit again. Bain was so open, it's almost illegal. I believe that's the pa uh, first pass completion we've had today, isn't it, Chris? And here you see Weatherby just straighten up. Bain is all alone out there. He pumps one, draws it in, and look at this. No one within 10 yards of Bain. 16 yards on the pickup, and so we go back to action. Cowboys first and goal at the Oklahoma 10-yard line. Weatherby. As to Miller, Miller goes up near the six-yard line as he went over the right side. 89, Michael Phillips on the tackle. Also, Darrell Hunt, 85, stopping Terry Miller there, who's over 100 yards on the day against Oklahoma. Bedford, Ron Baker, the guards uh, getting credit for the blocking there, 61 and 66. Also, that Craig Simmons now in there, 75 of the guard. You saw getting up to Darrell Goforth, 72. For the Cowboys, their fine center. Mike Ritz, we talked about, senior started at center. Injured in the first half is out now, but uh, looks like he won't see much action in the second half. Weatherby, second and goal at the Oklahoma 6. Charlie turns, hands to Skip Taylor, big hole, touchdown, Cowboys. Tell you what, Chris, there's a hole in the middle of that line you could have driven a truck through. That was very good blocking. The Cowboys that time, their offensive line just blew the Sooners out of there. I don't know if Weatherby saw something, saw a shift, but that hole was there. It's very wide. You're about to see it right here. Now, look at this hole he's got to run through. All he had to do is a little jiggle and a jaggle, and he had it made straight through there. Very good blocking by the Cowboy offensive line that time. Simmons, a good block. Also, Mark Pirelli, 62 with a fine block, and uh, Skip Taylor. Goes straight up the middle of the Sooner defense for a six-yard touchdown run. They had Abby Daigle in there. Looked like they wanted to think about a kick. Now uh, the Cowboys have stopped the clock, and they may be uh, considering the possibility of a two-point conversion here as they have stopped the clock, called a timeout. Keep it right here with six minutes and three seconds left in the third quarter. Cowboys thinking about the possibility of two, which makes a lot of sense because, of course, with two, a field goal then uh, brings you back into a tie situation. Plenty of time in the game, 6.03 left. In the third quarter, Oklahoma 24, but the Cowboys 19. But the situation like this, without a doubt, Chris, finds the OSU coaching staff, I would go for two points. It just, it makes sense. Apparently they agree, because Charlie Weatherby has huddled his Cowboys up, the football, and of course, on the three-yard line. See what they have planned. 84, Sam Lyle's going to go to the top of the screen. Number 40, Ricky Taylor goes down to the bottom. Keep an eye on the tight end. Bruce Blankenship, 83. Miller, Taylor in the backfield. You're looking at Charlie Weatherby. From the three-yard line, Cowboys going for two. Weatherby, it's good to Skip Taylor. 28, Skip Taylor caught it just inside the goal line. As Weatherby did an outstanding job there. Moving to the sideline, drawing the Sooners all up to him. Here's the replay of it. Here you go, Sid, once again, Skip Taylor, the senior from Cincinnati, Ohio, having a, a big afternoon. Weatherby played good heady ball here. He had a very good rush on him. He could have thrown it away, but he waits. Uh, Taylor was covered for a while in there. He put a little move on in the end zone, got loose for just a second, and that at that second, right here, Charlie throws it in there, threads the needle. There you go, two points. We've got a ball game. Richard Murray, 76, Daryl Hunt, 85, putting pressure on Weatherby, but uh, Charlie withstood it well, and he'll get those pom-pom girls something to cheer about now as the Cowboys have fought back to within three. Oklahoma, 24, Oklahoma State, 21. 
Been a great football game this afternoon here in Norman. Started off with a cowboy explosion of 10 0, then it was OU 21 0, then uh, 21 to 10, rather, then 24 to 10. And now Oklahoma State takes advantage of a fumble on their scoring drive. 58 yard scoring drive, seven plays. Skip Taylor going out from six yards out, then Skip Taylor taking the pass from Weatherby for the two point conversion. OU 24, OSU 21. We've got a Super Bowl game. Is that right? 58 yard scoring drive. I thought they recovered at about the 33, maybe 38 yards. We better check that. I think it was short of that because they recovered a fumble at about the 38. We'll check it for you as they kick off. Abby Dago. The Dago kicks off and it goes into the end zone. So Oklahoma will take over first and 10 at its own 20 yard line. 6.03 left to play in the third quarter. And Oklahoma leads Oklahoma State 24 to 21. You're right, Chris. Statistician now says it is a 38-yard uh, drive, so we're in good shape there. Whatever the score is, still 24 to 21. OSU uh, trailing OU. Seems like an appropriate time to introduce our statistician, Elvin Lindblad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, George Bullock is spotting the Cowboys. John Montgomery is spotting the uh, Sooners. Steve Davis is up here in the booth, the technical advisor. And of course, KTBY doing a super job production-wise this afternoon as the Sooners come out. First and ten on the 20-yard line. Thomas Lott hit as he hands off with the football. Philip Jokes is on the ball carrier, and there you see Philip being congratulated. Oh, I'll tell you, no chance at all. As soon as Lott handed the ball off, there is Barry Switzer, hands on the hip, and uh, he looks kind of upset. Second down, ten. No gain on the last play. I'm with them with the Cowboys right now. Let's see if the Sooners can get it back. As Jimmy Culberth, 41, Horace Ivory, 32, Elvis Peacock, 4, in the back of it, Lott. It is Ivory in motion, going down to the bottom of the screen. Lott, second and 10, makes the pitch to Peacock. No chance. Knocked out of bounds before he got to the line of scrimmage. Peter Coppola, 21, comes up from his strong safety spot on an excellent defensive play, and I'll tell you, the Cowboys are fired up. Here you're going to see it again. Uh, number 21, Peter Coppola, will just come up here. He's a 197-pounder. Uh, no one there to block him. All he had to do is go out there, string him out, and he covered the pitch just perfectly. Bang right there. Knocked Peacock down for a, a, a one-yard loss. Lorenzo Turner, 77, helped mess things up on the corner so Coppola could get over there. Third and 11. OU from its 19. They need the 30 for the first down. And off to Ivory. Tries to break a tackle. Cannot get away from the nose guard. Richard Allen, number 89. So the Sooners are going to be forced into a punting situation again, and the Cowboy fans have something to cheer about here in Norman. Listen to the Cowboy fans. Wes Hankins is going to be deep, waiting for the Mickey Hatcher punt. There's a good shot of Mickey, number 82. He's inside his 10-yard line as OU punts on fourth and eight from its own 22. Hatcher, high spiral, beautiful kick. Hankins inside his 25, retreats to the 20, heads to the sidelines, and is going to be thrown out of bounds at about the 21. Beautiful punt by Hatcher, great coverage. Steve Rhodes down there, number 24 on the play, throws Hankins down. 54-yard punt, minus five on the return. So there's the kicking game again. Helping to make the difference, and now the Sooner Band strikes up Boomer Sooner as they try to get OU stirred up here. Mickey, uh, Mickey Hatcher came into the ball game, 38.7 average. That was a super kick there, way above his average, 54 yards. There's C. Hankins on the sideline talking to, uh, I believe that's Jim Stanley. All right, Coach Stanley there visiting with him. First and 10 Cowboys to 20. Charlie Weatherby still the quarterback, hands to Terry Miller. Miller back pedals to about the 23, gets three, second down, seven. Four minutes. 33 seconds, clock running left in the third quarter. It's Oklahoma 24, Oklahoma State 21. Darrell Hunt 85, Obi Moore 57 combined on the tackles. Looking at that uh, cowboy huddle, Milton Hardaway, you see, is in there at a uh, offensive tackle, big number 73, and I mean big, 6'9, 321, a junior from Seguin, Texas. Looking at him at the end of the line at number 73 on the right side. We'll get a shot up later for you as Charlie Weatherby calls the signals. Weatherby looking to throw. Has all kinds of time. Now throws for Lyle. Has it across the 40-yard line. Completion. First down. Cowboys. Sam Lyle went from his split in spot straight up the field. Weatherby had all kinds of time and hit him for a 20-yard gain. See it again. There's big Milton Hardaway, 73, as we watch some of the blocking. That guy really is going to hold up people. He's... <laughs> Mentioned 321. Hardaway does a good job blocking. Weatherby, beautiful pass to Lyle. Stretches, grabs it, 
He's the leading receiver for the Cowboys, Sam Lyle. Nine catches, 193 yards, one touchdown. Comes out Putman City. He's been a dandy for the Cowboys. First and ten, Oklahoma State is uh, there discussing things in the sidelines down there. One of the officials uh, has come up with an injury, so that's why we have a momentary pause here. You saw the scoreboard with the Sooners holding just a three-point lead, but these Cowboys have come alive. Down, uh, remember, 21 to 10 at one point, then 24 to 10, and Oklahoma State has come fighting back here. Lyle is the top receiver for the Cowboys. Chris, he came into the ball game, nine receptions for 193 yards, one touchdown. His longest catch was one for 52 yards. Well, uh, they're trying to get the official straightened out on the sidelines, getting him repaired. We'll take a break here. 357 left in the third quarter. Oklahoma, 24. Oklahoma State, 21. working on one of these big eight officials down on the field at 357 left to play in the third quarter Oklahoma 24 Oklahoma State 21 we've got two 100 yard rushers the same two we had in the first half Peacock eight rushes 101 yards Miller 14 for 113 Johnny Weatherby has got the Cowboy passing attack cranked up it is first and ten at the 43 Weatherby on the draw play goes to Miller Miller 50 45 40 did he step out of bounds he did Terry Miller steps out of bounds back up field at the 40 yard line. We just had a cameraman knocked down on the sideline there Chris and uh, <laughs> I believe he's all right but that camera I don't know what kind of shape it's going to be in. You know, Zach Anderson had a good roll block there and he's uh, getting to look from some of the fans down there. We'll see it on replay is Charlie Weatherby number 15. I don't believe that was one of ours Chris. <laughs> Watch this here we go. Miller taking the ball number 43 around the right side. If he hadn't stepped out of bounds, he had a touchdown. I thought he was going to go all the way, but he did step out of bounds. I believe you'll be able to see it very quickly here. Right, right there. there, he stepped out of bounds. He's trying to walk the tight rope, but it's already too late. So the Cowboys have a first and 10 at the Sooner 40-yard line, 17-yard gain for Miller. Weatherby back to pass, looking deep for Bain. Oh, just can't reach it. Oh, he had his man beat, Gerald Bain. Had a couple steps there on Zach Henderson as Weatherby went for it all on that uh, first and ten play from the Sooner 40 yard line. Here you see Gerald Bain number nine. That's a well thrown pass to it just went uh, between Bain's hands. He had he had beaten Henderson bad. It was a touchdown if Bain just could have held on to the ball. Second down ten it'll be for the Cowboys at the 40 yard line. Weatherby two of four passing for 36 yards so far in the game. And of course, he also had a two point conversion. He was credit on a pass to Skip Taylor. Weatherby over his center, Terrell go for it. Second and 10 from the 40. Charlie, nowhere. Richard Murray, 76. Welcomes the Oklahoma State quarterback as he tried to turn around the corner. But Weatherby is going to lose on that play. Set back a yard to the 41 yard line. It'll be third down, 11 now. Yes, Weatherby talking things over with Gerald Bain. I'm sure we're going to see him uh, try that play out. They had a couple downs ago uh, again before this game's over when Bain ran a beautiful route and they had him open for a second there. Couldn't quite make connection. Bain goes to the top of the screen, number nine. Sam Lyle, 84, comes to the bottom as Charlie Weatherby faces third and 11. Keep in mind they need the OU 30 for the first down. Weatherby wants to throw. Rushes on, Charlie's down. He tried to fire quickly to Sam Lyle, 84. He wasn't open, and Mike Phillips, 89. Richard Murray, 76. Combined on the tackle, 
throwing Weatherby for a loss on the play. Third down conversions, interesting statistic. Oklahoma only two of nine today. Oklahoma State four of 12. Here's C. Weatherby. It was Lyle all the way, Chris, but Lyle was covered very well in there, and uh, they just didn't have any time. His blocking broke down, and Weatherby had to eat the ball. Bill Tabor was 74 in there with a big rush. Here's Abby Dagle for a 60-yard field goal attempt against the win. Ken Shirley will hold from midfield. That is a whistle. They don't like something here, so Oklahoma State's going to call timeout here to discuss things here. Two minutes, four seconds left to play. Ken Shirley, the holder, is over there talking to Jim Stanley, offensive coordinator Gene Henderson, Carol Bain, number nine, around him. And uh, now Jim Stanley is uh, calling Cliff Parsley on the field. So uh, maybe uh, Ken Shirley came over there and says, hey, you got to be kidding. Well, the wind is blowing against him, Chris. 60 yards against a stiff win. So uh, I'm sure they want to talk. Cliff Parsi has now come out. And timeout will be charged to Oklahoma State, and that gives the Cowboys only one timeout left in this game. Now, that may be a factor later on. Two minutes, four seconds left in the third quarter. Oklahoma 24, Oklahoma State 21. So there'll be no 60-yard field goal attempt against the win. Uh, Cliff Parsley's in to try to pin the Sooners deep. Gerald Bain just comes on the field. Parsley gets looking for the good bounce inside the 10. The flag is now down back upfield to 25 as the Cowboys are huddling around it and blow it dead at the six. But keep in mind there's a flag upfield at around the 25 or six yard line. They're going to call it on, it uh, looks like according, Oklahoma State. According to Scotty Hill, it's against Oklahoma State. Let's see what the referee says. Personal foul grabbing the face mask said against he pointed towards Oklahoma he pointed towards Oklahoma if that's the case they'll go back to the line of scrimmage and give the Cowboys a first down they've also given a signal of possibility of 12 men on the field they're talking over now it's a little confusion here Scott Hill number seven is in there talking with the officials the referee again is Bill Jennings the gentleman in the white hat he wants to hold everything up here and uh, everybody try to get their signal straight. They're standing on the 35, he gave one signal as uh, grabbing the face mask, personal foul against OU. We understand it was also a possibility of 12 men on the field. Now let's see. Uh, Bill Jennings trying to get it straightened down here. Personal foul, he's grabbing the face mask against Oklahoma State. Okay. Bill simply gave the signal the wrong way to start off. So it's against Oklahoma State. So they are going to mark it off way upfield from the point of the foul the line of scrimmage. Take it back to the Cowboy 41-yard line, and they'll have to punt it over again, apparently. Gives the signal again, grabbing the face mask, Oklahoma State. So now it'll be a punting situation again for the Cowboys. And that really hurts OSU, because they had the Sooners, remember, pinned back at the six-yard line. So the penalty puts Cliff Parsley back on the field for another try, and Parsley will be really booming this one inside the 30. Cliff, not a real good kick for him, end over end. Football is touched by OU, it's loose on the field, now it's kicked up field, across the 40, 35, still loose, now diving on Oklahoma State. <laughs> Let's see if it says Oklahoma State has the football. Boy, that was a wild one, I'll tell you. A wild scramble for it. We're going to see a replay of it. You're going to have to see it to believe it. Oklahoma State. Now, you'll see Lee Hover downfield here trying to pick the ball up. Now, he should have just have fell on the ball, but he tries to pick it up and run with it, and it, it didn't work out at all for Lee. Number nine, Lee Hover right here trying to pick it up and run with it. And he overrun the ball. <laughs> Diving art for Oklahoma State was Steve Stevens, number 34. It is the Cowboys football after an Oklahoma fumble. First and 10 at their own 29. Here goes Terry Miller to 30, maybe 31 for a couple. Trying to feel the ball originally for Oklahoma, I believe it was Bud Hebert. So he would have been charged with a fumble, although you could have charged it two or three more. One of the Sooners then kicked it down the field. And as Jim told you, Lee Hover, for some reason, trying to pick it up, he, you can't advance, of course, the fumble unless you catch it in the air. So he had no chance to advance it anyway, and uh, Lee simply forgot to fall on it, and I'm sure they're discussing that with him. <laughs> and the sun has come out. 
on the Cowboys who trail by three with a minute five left here in the third quarter. Fighting his way for extra yards is Skip Taylor as he was met right at the line of scrimmage, slipped away from Obi Moore, 57. Finally uh, wrapped up down there. Uh, Dwayne Backus was over there for one, tackling Skip Taylor, 28. At the 33 yard line. Less than a minute to play here in the third quarter. Clock counting down to 45 seconds. Red and orange in the stands here. Sellout crowd as usual. But the 71st meeting between the Cowboys and the Sooners. Great football game. 24 21 of this Oklahoma leading. 30 seconds now left in the third quarter. Weatherby brings his Cowboys up third and six. They need the 39 for the first down. Miller straight up field may have close to the first down. Very close. Straight up the middle. Reggie Kenlaw 62. On a knee there was one of the tacklers. 71, Anthony Bryan is in there. Richard Murray, 76, also helping on the stop. Going to bring the chains across here and look for a measurement. It's either first down, Oklahoma State, or fourth and very short yardage. First down, Cowboys. That's a big first down to keep the drive alive, and it was just by a couple of the dimples of the football there. It was really close. 22 seconds left in the third quarter as you look at Charlie Weatherby huddling his Cowboys. 16 seconds left in the quarter. 24, 21, Oklahoma leads. Cowboys on the move. Bain to the bottom of the screen, Lyle split to the top. Charlie Weatherby calling the signals, first and 10 from his 39. Handoff goes to Skip Taylor, running wide. Taylor crosses the 40. Thumbed out of bounds at about the 41 or two. Short gain on the play. That's going to be the last play also of this third quarter. With Oklahoma leading here, going into the final quarter of play, we'll be ready for fourth quarter action in just a moment. Our score, the Sooners 24, the Cowboys 21. start the final 15 minutes of this Oklahoma Oklahoma State game here in Norman hope you're enjoying this delayed telecast on KTUL TV this is Chris Lincoln along with Jim Cook and it's been a whale of a football game so far 10 nothing Oklahoma State then uh, the Sooners came roaring back to make it to 21 to 10 it was 21 13 at halftime it's 24 21 right now as you get ready to start the final quarter second and eight Weatherby pitches to Miller 40 to the 44 and that's about it no chance to get around the corner there. Darrell Hunt, 85, was over there. So was Terry Peters, number 16 for the Sooners. And Miller kind of shaken up on the play. Peters is down for OU on the far sidelines. They will stop play here just for a moment. Here's Terry Miller, 43, uh, coming off the field. What a day he's had, over 100 yards rushing. Scored the first time he touched the ball on a 72-yard touchdown. On 18 carries, 141 yards for... Terry Miller. Outstanding running back for Oklahoma State. I know Larry Lacewell earlier in the week on his show called Terry Miller the best running back in the Big 8 Conference. He's been averaging 95 yards per game, Chris, coming into this ball game to become the all-time leading ground gainer for OSU. Uh, to catch Bob Finnamore has 2,536 yards. He's going to have to average 116 yards per ball, uh, ball game the rest of the way in. And if he keeps going the way he is uh, today, he's going to be the number one rusher in OSU's football history. Terry Peters, number 16, uh, injured left cornerback for OU, has helped off the field. has been replaced by Bud Hebert, a sophomore, number 33. So OU, I tell you, already thin in the second He's hit again. Third and five, the 44. Handoff up the middle. Looks like he's going to be short of the first down. Skip Taylor kept spinning there, fighting for some extra yards. You just have to see what the official blows it dead. Richard Murray, 76. Daryl Hunt, 85. Getting up to AC. Daryl Goforth, beat number 72. Getting up two, and it's going to be short. It'll be fourth down. 
about a yard and a half, two yards for the Cowboys. So Oklahoma State will be forced to punt it away. It's still anybody's football game here in Norman. Oklahoma 24, Oklahoma State 21. Looking at the offense, I'll tell you, statistic-wise, no contest. The Cowboys, 263 yards of total offense, 197 for OU. All of that for the Sooners on the ground. The Cowboys, 227 rushing, 36 passing. Five turnovers for Oklahoma, one for Oklahoma State. And that's a big statistic as you look at Cliff Parsley in a beautiful high punt. They're not going to try to field it. It takes a great Cowboy bounce. Bounces to the nine is going to die right there. And Oklahoma State has OU pinned deep in its own territory. Boy, you just cannot stress the importance of a guy like Cliff Parsley. 43-yard punt has it just rolled perfectly dead for him at the nine-yard line. And I'll tell you, I know how Barry Switzer feels. He says, when you're inside the 10, you're not on offense. You're on defense. You're just trying to keep the other team from getting the football. You don't want to make any kind of mistake down here. It was 21-13. OU at half. It's 24-21. Sooners lead now. Thomas Lott hands up the middle. Kenny King, the fullback, gets maybe the 10-yard line. That's about it for a gain of one. William Miller, 69, in right now for uh, Philip Dokes, or on the other side of Philip Dokes, making the tackle. It's Miller and Dokes, the tackles, and the pride of Oklahoma picks up Boomer Sooner. Second down, eight, Oklahoma at its own 10-yard line. Lott makes the handoff, keeps, and goes nowhere. Philip Dokes, 91, John Corker, 45, and number six is underneath all that, Thomas Lott. They're going to mark it uh, right at the 10 again. It'll be uh, third down, about eight. See a replay, Jim. You're going to see Lott right here. He had a uh, Peacock. He wanted to uh, pitch it out to Peacock. He looked, well, no, he didn't even look at Peacock. Uh, he, he tried to keep the ball cut inside. And Dokes all over him, number 91 right there, and down you go. So a loss on the play. Lott, 10 carries, 31 yards so far this afternoon. Third down, nine, Oklahoma. They need the 19 just to cross it for the first down. Hand to Kenny King. King breaks a couple tackles, spins up to the 17, but is short of a first down. So OU looks like they're going to be forced into a punting situation here deep in their own territory. Some complaining down the field. Steve Roach, 24, and had a few words with the official and uh, also talking over William Lester, one of the right cornerbacks. John Weimer, 57, uh, helped put the stick on Kenny King. Picks up seven yards, but it's not enough. It is fourth down and two. So Mickey Hatcher is standing inside his own five-yard line, and Wes Hankins, 23, waits deep for Oklahoma State. Poor kick by Hatcher. Bounces at the 40, takes a roll back, and oh, bad kick, and that's going to give Oklahoma State great field position, a 25-yard punt. And there's the kicking game we talk about again. If you look at just a moment ago, Cliff Parsley hit one of about 43 yards. OU comes back on a 25, so they give up almost 20 yards in uh, possession there. Charlie Weatherby, number 15, the thrower for the Cowboys, is on the field. Parsley had one, uh, Chris, for 54 yards. That was one of the main reasons the OSU coaching staff thought they had a good chance to win this ball game. They thought it might come down to the, the kicking game, and they have one of the best in the nation in Cliff Parsley. And as should be pointed out, the Cowboys have a strong win to their back in this fourth quarter. A field goal away from tying it. Snap of the football. Weatherby runs into his man, gives to Skip Taylor, and Taylor goes down near the OU 36-yard line. A little mix-up on the play, but it worked well for Oklahoma State. Good gain on the play of about seven yards. Obi Moore, 57. On the tackle there, you see Skip Taylor, 28, getting up. Six yard line, 11 minutes, 15 seconds left in this football game. It is Oklahoma 24, Oklahoma State 21. Here comes Charlie Weatherby and the Cowboys. And off Terry Miller. Miller fights near a first down, it looks like, for Oklahoma State. Reggie Kinlaw, 62, the nose guard, made the tackle on the play. First and ten, Oklahoma State. Terry Miller has come out of the football game. Farlan Dindy is in there, along with Skip Taylor. Cowboys caught the Sooners adjusting the defensive line on that play, Chris, and I, I was really surprised they didn't pick up more on that play. Ricky Taylor goes to the top of the screen. Blankenship 
along with Stevens, double tight end for the Cowboys. Handoff goes inside to Farland Dindy and gets short yardage across the 30. Be second down at about eight or nine. Richard Murray, 76. Hobie Moore, 57, in on the tackles for Oklahoma. We'll keep you closely advised on the clock here as we come down to 10 minutes, 30 seconds left to play in the football game. Terry Peters, another OU defensive back, number 16, is being taken to an ambulance and be taken to a hospital here in Norman, so you can bet he's out for the day. Handoff, Skip Taylor stumbles across the 25, still on his feet and close to a first down for Oklahoma State. And the Cowboys are driving. Mike Babb, left cornerback. Dwayne Back is 88, defensive end. Make the tackle, Babb number 14. Take a look at that Cowboy offensive line because they are really doing the job right now. Mike Ritz, very good block, playing center right now. Look at that hole there. It's a, another big hole, and uh, once again, the Cowboy offensive line blew the Sooners off the line of scrimmage that time. Going to take a look at this one. Mike Ritz, you mentioned, is back at center, number 54. That would move uh, Goforth back to a tackle. And it's going to be just short of a first down. Good. Mike Corelli is the left tackle, number 62. Craig Simmons, 75, been one of the left guards in there. Mike Ritz, 54 at center. 61, Jim Ledford in at a guard spot. Darrell Goforth is now a tackle on the right side, number 72. That Cowboy offensive line doing the job right now. It is third down, one Cowboys at the 22. The Oklahoma defense stacks up as Weatherby sneaks, dives over his center easily with the first down for Oklahoma State to the 20. Delve over the center block of Mike Ritz, 54. And I'll tell you, the Cowboys are moving here. 24-21, Oklahoma, 10 minutes, 4 seconds left to play in this football game. Good shot of the Cowboy offensive huddle. Weatherby 15, 28 is Skip Taylor. 35 is Farland Dindy as they give uh, Trey Miller some rest. Number 40, Ricky Taylor goes to the top of the screen out of your picture as a receiver. Weatherby hands off to Taylor, goes across the 20, a little mix up on that play as Charlie wasn't real happy with the timing of that one. Eight of one or two on the play. Darrell Hunt, 85. Mike Phillips, 89. On the ball carrier, 28, Skip Taylor. So it becomes second down for Oklahoma State and about eight. Mike Ritz uh, now back in at center, number 54. Coming out over the football right now. It hurt his left ankle earlier. Was out uh, most of the first half. Back in there now for the Cowboys. Moving Goforth to uh, his old guard position on the right side. Or tackle, we should say. Tackle position to right. It's Weatherby. Sprints out, looking to throw. Now does. It is complete. The blanket shift to tight end. Loses the football inside the 15. Let's see what the official says. No, down right there. No fumble. No fumble. Richard Murray, 76, appealing. You'll see it again on replay. Jim? Okay, let's uh, look at it. Weatherby, number 15, looking all the way for Bruce Blankenship, the tight end from Tulsa Memorial. Stringing out to the line of scrimmage, and there we go. You'll see Blankenship catch the ball. Does have possession of it very clearly right there, and he's hit. Let's see if his knee, well, we're not going to get the complete replay. We're going to see if his knee hit the ground uh, before he fumbled or after. Well, I tell you, they have it with a third down and three now. Picked up about, uh, about six on that last play, and the crowd just too noisy down there, so... Uh, they're not going to get a chance to get this one off. Charlie Weatherby is three of five passing for 42 yards and two points. <laughs> Through for a two-point after touchdown conversion. And now the Cowboys come out. Sam Lyle signaling for a timeout. And this is... Uh, That's their last timeout, isn't it, Chris? That's a surprise. But uh, they don't want to make any mistakes down here. You can't blame him. It is third down and three. Timeout on the field for Oklahoma State. Eight minutes and 47 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Our score, Oklahoma 24, Oklahoma State 21.
Ohio State, which you believe playing in Norman. <laughs> Listen to the Sooner crowd. They're upset they didn't get a fumble on the last play. By the way, they need the 10. Handoff. It's going to be close to the first down as Terry Miller takes it back in the game. Goes off the right side. The Cowboys signal they have a first down. We'll see what Bill Jennings, the referee, says about it. Obi Moore, 57 on the tackle. Momentum right now all with the uh, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Chris, they're hungry. They haven't won this ball game since 1966. Nine long years. They won it then 15 to 14 in Stillwater. They also won it 65 in Norman, 17 to 16. First down. Miller now has rushed 20 times, 148 yards. I'd say he's having a decent afternoon. Super football player. It is now first and goal Cowboys at the 10-yard line of Oklahoma. Ricky Taylor comes to the bottom of the screen. The backfield, Charlie Weatherby. Terry Miller, Skip Taylor. Charlie says he can't hear the signals. He just can't hear. He doesn't feel his linemen or backs can hear. And, of course, that's his option. But I can't imagine it's going to get much quieter here in Norman for Charlie Weatherby. Eight first downs for Oklahoma. Look at this. Oklahoma State 16. They have doubled the Sooners in first downs. It looks and like uh, they, they finally got into veer and gear. Uh, you didn't say that, did you? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Turnovers, four, four fumbles, one interception against Oklahoma for five. The Cowboys have really played an errorless game. They one turnover and only one penalty against Oklahoma State. First and goal, Cowboys at the 10. Two, two tight ends for the Cowboys. Weatherby in the backfield, quarterback, hands to Miller. Miller fights his way up to about the six or seven yard line, going over the right side of the line. Reggie Kinlaw, 62, the nose guard on the stop. There you see Terry Miller. Had a great game, his best individual effort uh, ever against Kansas last week, and uh, he's already uh, improved on that. Reminder, they cannot get a first down. They've uh, got to get it into the end zone. It is second goal to goal. Oklahoma State from the Sooners 7. Miller, Taylor in the backfield. Hand off again to Miller at the 5, and he is thrown back there. After a gain of 1 or 2, Daryl Hunt, 85, the linebacker, stepped up in there, wrapped him up. Miller's really come alive in the last two ball games. 137 yards against Kansas, already 140 yards. Uh, again, or rather, against Colorado, 140 yards plus against Oklahoma. He could have a very, very big year. Of course, he's only the second Cowboy in history to rush uh, for over 1,000 yards in a single season. 205 yards total offense. OU, OSU, meanwhile, almost 300 yards, 296, 253 of it on the ground. Here we go, third down, goal to goal from the five. Weatherby, the quarterback. Throws, touchdown, wide open was Ricky Taylor, number 40. Wide open. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Listen to the Cowboy fans. Chris, I began to wonder if Weatherby was going to see uh, Ricky Taylor, he was wide open. Like you said, he'd been open for uh, a good three seconds there, standing there with his legs up, uh, his uh, legs up, his arms up. There you see Weatherby uh, looking like he wants to run with it, finally throws it into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma State University. Six minutes, 46 seconds left to play as Abby Dingham will try the extra point. It's an important extra point because, remember, as soon as could tie with a field goal. Dago's kick. Perfect. Six minutes, 46 seconds left to play. Here's where we stand. Oklahoma, 24. Now Oklahoma State, 28. We'll keep it right here and tell you about that drive by the Cowboys. I'll tell you, what a job they did. Nine plays, 42 yards after the 25-yard punt from Mickey Hatcher. And you've got to be impressed with the Oklahoma State Cowboy effort this afternoon. Of course, that's the best drive we've seen all afternoon by far. Pretty OSU cheerleader on the side. Beautiful. <laughs> Even Barry Switzer gives her that. He says there's no doubt about it. They have the best pom-pom girls in the Big Eight. Probably the world. And they've got something to cheer about. They should. Their Oklahoma State football team has just been super this afternoon. Abby Dago, you're looking at him right there as he goes back, ready to kick off, and the Sooners have six minutes and 46 seconds to try to 
snatch this uh, victory away from Oklahoma State. Daigle really booms that there'll be no run back here. Oh, boy, out of the stadium. So Oklahoma starts 80 yards away, first and 10 from its 20-yard line. And now the pressure is on the Oklahoma offense and the Cowboy defense. Keep in mind, the Sooners, remember, led 21 to 13 at halftime, so they have scored only a field goal in the second half. And I'm not sure what the play situation would be, but I'm sure Oklahoma State has dominated in total plays so far in the second half. We'll check that for you in a second. Thomas Lott, number six, the Sooner quarterback. There you see him. Wishbone behind him. Elvis Peacock in motion to the top of the screen. Lott back to throw. Looks deep, wide open as Mathis. Dives for it. Did he keep it? Let's see. The referee says yes. Great individual effort by Reggie Mathis, the tight end. Chris, we're going to have some argument, I'm sure, from OSU, uh, but I believe he did keep the ball. Let's, let's see what no, they know. Now they changed the call. No, no. Now they changed the call. Okay. Well, there was some argument about it, and you saw the two officials talk about it, and then they decided, look, we're going to see it on replay, and let's look at it here. As Thomas Lott will be passing by number 86, Reggie Mathis. Now we remember, also had a flag on the play backfield. Now remember, when you go down, you have to have possession. You can't be juggling that ball. You've got to have possession of that ball and, and have it very securely. Let's see. No, he, he missed the ball, Chris. He, he was down right there, and he's juggling the ball, and it hits the ground. They called, they could have called yeah, trapping the good ball. Good call, because as you say, he was already down. His knee was on the ground. And even if he had caught it, it still would not have been a complete pass because he was already down on the ground. Good call by the officials. Illegal procedure was the flag of field against Oklahoma. The Cowboys decline it. They want the uh, down. This half, Oklahoma State is 129 yards to OU's 34. As you see Thomas Lott in action on the wishbone, goes to the 25 and across it for a good pickup on the play of about five yards. Richard Allen, 89. John Cork of 45 make the tackle on Thomas Lott. Thomas Lott put some good moves on the outside corner that time. Big Philip Dokes, 91, comes back to the defensive huddle. Hey, here's a statistic for you, Jim Cook. In plays so far in this football game, Oklahoma State 70 offensive plays to Oklahoma's 52. Big difference right there in uh, possession, and the Cowboys have made the most of it. Six minutes, five seconds left to play in the game. Oklahoma trails Oklahoma State by four. A field goal does them no good. They need the touchdown. Ivory in motion. Big third down play. Lot rolls out, looking to throw. Thomas incomplete for Victor Hicks, thrown a bit behind him. Lorenzo Turner had the big rush, 77 on Lott. And so it goes incomplete in a punting situation for OU. Victor Hicks, number 80, you see there. Chris, Steve Rolls uh, was wide open 30 yards down the field if Thomas Lott could have just picked him up. But it's fourth down and five right now. And the Oklahoma State band of the end zone strikes up right in Cowboys as he's Cowboy fans. There are a lot of them in Norman today. Bill, maybe an upset here. A chance to beat OU for the first time since 1966. Oh, another poor punt by Mickey Hatcher. Inside the 40, rolls back up field. Culver kills it at the 36, and Oklahoma State has it there. And the punting game has absolutely killed OU. An 11-yard punt for Mickey Hatcher. Certainly wasn't one to take your breath away. Uh, Barry Switzer couldn't be happier with that at all. Now, remember, you know, right now, I mean, if they don't move the ball, they're in Abby Daigle field goal range with a great wind behind them. And if OSU puts three points on the board, I'll tell you, that's going to be tough. Bill Dockey has come in at linebacker. Charlie Weatherby, the quarterback for the Cowboys, the 36-yard line. Hands off to Miller, goes straight ahead for two or three yards. I don't look for the Cowboys to try much fancy here. Eat up the clock, keep the ball moving, and give themselves a chance at a field goal from Abby Daigle. Five minutes, 22 seconds left to play in this football game, as you saw the Cowboy bench. Now Charlie Weatherby talking to his offensive football team. There's the clock. There's the story right there. 28-24, Oklahoma State. Double tight end. Gerald Bain to the near side. Split for Oklahoma State. Weatherby drops on the football. He had trouble getting it from center and just wisely fell on it quickly at the 35. So it's going to be third down, Oklahoma State. Move the football back to 
the OU 35, and it'll be third and about nine. Coming in with a play, Ricky Taylor. For Charlie Weatherby and the score, Oklahoma State offense talks it over. Here comes Weatherby and the Cowboys. Ricky Taylor goes out to the top of the screen. You're looking at Charlie Weatherby, number 15, who's led this Cowboy comeback in the second half. Miller, Taylor in the backfield behind him. Give to Terry Miller. Miller inside the 30-yard line, but it's going to be short of a first down. And here comes Abby Diggle with a field goal attempt. Abby Diggle is very, uh, very good from 40 to 50 yards out with the wind at his back, Chris. So, uh, like you said, the Sooners are in trouble right here. Diggle is uh, very reliable at this range with the wind the way it is. Under four minutes to play in the game. Now, keep in mind, if Abby Diggle makes this kick, it's going to mean that OU would have to really go for two points to win the football game. Uh, touchdown and an extra point would just give them a tie. So a big field goal opportunity here. Now there's a whistle. They can't call a timeout. They have no timeouts left. Now what's the problem? Okay, they want a new football. That might have been the smartest call of the day because they were running out of time and center <laughs> wisely asked for a new football. Holding will be Kent Shirley. The snapper is Kent Gravely, and the kicker, Abby Daigle. This will be a 46-yard field goal attempt, slight angle to the right. The kick by Daigle is up. Good. It's good. So I'll tell you, that is going to make it tough. All these Cowboy fans are excited, and they should be. Oklahoma State trailing in this football game. 21 to 13 and then 24 to 13 in the third quarter has come rolling back to lead the defending national champion Sooners 31 24 with three minutes and 34 seconds left to play. Keep in mind Oklahoma State has beaten Oklahoma only two times in the last 30 years. Dating back to 1946 and 1946 the Sooners ran all over the Cowboys something like 72 to what? It's some outlandish score. I tell you one thing, Chris, so we won't have a tie here. If, if the Sooners score the touchdown, you better believe Barry will be going for the two points. No doubt about it. And here comes Boomer Sooner. This will stir the people up here. Abby Daigle, hand in the air. He's ready to kick off. Three minutes, 34 seconds left to play as Daigle hits the football. High, end over end, and no chance at a run back out of the end zone, and Oklahoma will again start 80 yards away, first and 10 from its 20-yard line. Daigle being congratulated on the sidelines. Dean Blevins has committed quarterback for Oklahoma. Blevins, who has not seen action since before the Texas game, uh, saw just one play of action today and threw an interception. But Blevins is the quarterback. They didn't want to use him today, but here he is. Peacock in motion. Blevins back to pass. Throws down here for Hover. Way overthrown. About 10 yards over his head. Lee Hover, number nine, the intended receiver. And back there defending number 14, Jerry Kramer, the strong safety for uh, Oklahoma State. Incomplete. Second down and 10. There's Dean Blevins. Number two, the junior quarterback from Norman, Oklahoma. Steve Roach, 24, comes in with a play from the sidelines. Three and a half minutes left to play in the game. And the Sooners trail by seven. In motion, Elvis Peacock. Levins, draw play. Horace Ivory, and nowhere. Maybe a couple yards, John Parker there. We've got a flag down to play, uh, Chris. Gary Kramer came in, and they might have said he uh, used that helmet trying to make the tackle. It's illegal this year. Personal foul against the Cowboys, and I'll tell you, that may be a big break for the Sooners. It gives them a free 15, and instead of third at about eight, Oklahoma gets 15 free yards. Here we see, see it, it again. again, Chris. Didn't look like he used the helmet. There we go. I think it's uh, number on number 14, maybe a late hit. Number 14. Jerry Kramer. Be Jerry Kramer. So a personal foul against the Cowboys. That is only the second first down for Oklahoma this half. You got to credit that Oklahoma State defense here. 
So the Sooners have it first and ten at their own 37, down by seven. Blevins makes a pitch into Ron, comes to Lee Homer, has running room at the 40, cuts inside of the 45-yard line. Fine defensive play by Gary Irons, the free safety. He came over on the play after a gain of eight to make the tack. Gary Irons, number three. Okay, we'll sit again. You'll see a great block in here by number 63, Sam Clappin. Uh, watch this now. Here comes reverse. Let's see if you can pick up number 63. He put a very good block on an OSU defender right there in the corner of the screen. You just missed it. Uh, if over number nine could have uh, one player here, he could have picked up at least 20 more yards, but he just couldn't get away from the OSU defender. Time left, 245. Clock running. Sooners down by a touchdown. Pitch out to Horace Ivory. Trying to turn the corner. Cuts it at the 45. Midfield, 45. First down, out of bounds. Oklahoma. Well now. Richard now Allen, 89. Makes the tackle. Now the Cowboys are feeling the uh, the weight of the Sooner offense. So this has been, really been a good, interesting ball game all afternoon long. 12-yard pickup on the play for Horace Ivory. And there you see it on replay. And great individual effort. There's Richard Allen holding on to him, number 89, spinning him out of bounds, which stops the clock. And OU likes that. I don't want to be a snitch or anything, but he had him by the face mask. New 36 <laughs> left to play in the ball game. Now keep in mind, Oklahoma has all three of its timeouts left. Dean Blevins directing the attack. Back to passes, Blevins under pressure, throws, and it is incomplete. Out of bounds, incomplete at the 25-yard line. Willie Lester defending over there. It was intended for Reggie Mathis. Mathis, you see there, fixing his shoe. Out of bounds, they're getting it all tied up, but he caught it out of bounds, incomplete. It is second down and 10 for Oklahoma at the Oklahoma State 44-yard line. Two and a half minutes left to play in the game. Dean Blevins, number two, brings his Sooners out. Has a split in a slot out to the right side. Makes the pitch out to Elvis Peacock. Peacock tries to turn the corner and can at the 45. Great defensive play by number 21, Peter Coppola. Peter Coppola, 21. Makes a fine defensive play. We'll okay. see it on replay. You'll see it right here. Horace Ivory missed his block, Chris. That's what happened on this. Number 32, you'll see Ivory. Maybe you'll see Ivory come out here. Let's see if you pick it up. It happened upfield. Ivory, that was Ivory's man. He missed his block. He came in and pulled it in. Very good play there. Knocked him down. Two minutes exactly left to play in this game. Oklahoma with a big third down and 10. The Sooners are 3 of 11 in third down conversions this afternoon. Split in slot this time to the left. Split the tight end to the right. Levin's back to pass. Rushes on. Down he goes. Face fast, possibly. There's a penalty. A penalty flag went down. Maybe a face mask. Maybe holding. We'll wait and see. Referee Bill Jennings is right there. Let's see what he wants to call. Holding against Oklahoma. That was on a third down, 10 play. We'll see it again right here, Chris. Blevins dropping back. Very good pass rush right here by the Cowboys. Alley coming in, number 89 right there. Uh, There's no doubt about the holding. Jody Farthing, 53, the center, had them all wrapped up there. Good call by the official, and now it is fourth down, 18, 146 to play in the game. The Cowboys refusing the penalty to get the down, and this may be Oklahoma's final chance. The football at the OU 47, keep in mind, they have to get to the 34-yard line of OSU for a first down. This may be it for OU. Levins has men split all over the field, back to pass, starts to run. Has to get 34. Doesn't Oklahoma State takes over on downs. 126 left to play in the game. John Weimer, 57, the linebacker, is being congratulated over on the sidelines. You see the play again. Okay, here's Blevins. He wants to go back and pass, but once again, the Cowboy defense doing a super job this afternoon with the rush. Blevins has to run out of the pocket. Picked up a decent yardage, but not near enough. Nowhere near the first down. He had to get all the way to the 34 for the first down, and the Cowboys take over first and 10 at the 48, and there's the hero right there, John Weimler, made the big defensive play. Now, remember, Oklahoma has three timeouts, so the chance they could get the ball back with calling some timeouts. Weatherby is going to take it and fall on it. The clock is running. OU hasn't called a timeout. Still running. Now, finally, Oklahoma calls time. There's the clock, you see, stopped there with 1.15 left to play. That's one of Oklahoma's three timeouts. They have two left. Oklahoma State, you can believe, is just going to fall on the football and keep possession. 
Oklahoma State leading here. Not since 1966 has Oklahoma State beaten Oklahoma. And as I said before, only twice has it happened in the last 30 years. And those are back-to-back 65-66 years. Oh, what a sweet one this would be for Jim Stanley. This will have to be his highlight of his career at OSU so far. Easily. And I'll tell you, you've got to admire Oklahoma State after a crushing defeat last week, losing to Colorado in the final seconds. That football team has fought back here. And I'll tell you, they have beaten the best football team probably they've played this year. Oklahoma Sooners ranked fifth nationally, unbeaten this year. Snap again, Weatherby just falls down. Again, the Sooners quickly call a timeout, and the clock never moved. You've got to admire the Cowboys, but you've also got to admire this OU Sooner team. Uh, people are saying, you know, they're having a down year and everything, but let's face it, they've had a lot of adversity this year. There's a scoreboard clock, and it never moved when they snapped the ball, and that's uh, what I'm sure they're going to discuss on the sidelines here because, uh, you know, even a, had to tick a couple times anyway before they got the timeout again, and that's going to be the discussion here. You know, Oklahoma is the only team in the Big Eight that Jim Stanley has not either beaten or tied. And there's Jim Stanley right there. You know how he's got to be feeling right now. Still worried, knowing Coach Stanley. <laughs> A minute 15 left. It is now third down, 14 to go. And the reason we have a pause here is the officials you see is on the phone up to the press box to try to set the clock again at an official time. You're looking right there at referee Bill Jennings. He's one of the finest in the Big 8 conference. And he's talking it over. Some of the people have started to leave here. I can't believe that. I, listen, I have seen OU do some unbelievable things. The Sooner football team is never down until that final ticks off the clock, believe me. An injured Oklahoma football team. Losing, of course, their uh, All-American cornerback in Jerry Anderson. They've had uh, Scotty Hill, who unbelievably has played today, has been uh, slowed by injury. You still see the clock showing a minute 15. Official still on the phone, and they haven't made any adjustment as yet. They may, though, before uh, we have another play go off. 31-24, Oklahoma State leads Oklahoma. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, special delayed telecast here on KTUL-TV. I know uh, I've enjoyed bringing it to you along with Jim Cook, George Bullock spotting the Cowboys, John Montgomery spotting the Sooners, Elvin Lindblad with statistics. We want to thank the people at KTBY production-wise for uh, helping us in the telecast tonight. You know, Chris, I was trying to remember back. I believe this is the hardest the Sooners have ever been hit as far as I can remember injury-wise. Uh, uh, Blevins, big tackle Mike Vaughn. Their defensive secondary, first string all except Zach Henderson, completely wiped up. And I know Barry Switzer before this game said this is probably the closest the two teams have been uh, talent-wise in a long time. And, you know, this is no surprise. Oklahoma State, we made the swing through the Big 8 Skyriders Tour. And uh, here goes the referee, Bill Jennings, again back on the phone to try to straighten out the scoreboard problem. But as we made the tour around the conference, we were so impressed with Oklahoma State, the Cowboys were moved from six in the preseason poll all the way up to third. Now they're counting down three seconds, and that's where it's going to be. 1-12 left to play in the game. So Oklahoma State wins its case for three seconds. Well, the Cowboys have been saying all week long the team that wins the Big 8 Conference they think will have one loss, and uh, that very well may be. Had 25 first downs in the game, 16 for OSU, 9 for OU, and all but three of those have come on the ground. 311 yards of total offense unofficially for Oklahoma State, 227 for the Sooners. Here's third and 14. Weatherby's going to turn around, fall back on it, and that is the last Oklahoma timeout signal right there with one minute and nine seconds left to play. So now, Oklahoma State, as you see Charlie Weatherby leaving the field, Oklahoma State, Cliff Parsley will be punting. Nixon is deep for Oklahoma. Now let's see the Sooner strategy here. I'd have to think, an all-out rush perhaps, to try to get to Cliff Parsley. And there you see Parsley right there, number two. Parsley back to his 25. The Oklahoma band hits Boomer Sutter, and a flag's going to come down on the play. 
One of the OU defenders jumped in at the OSU players. They said the OSU player moved the football, though, probably. So that's what caused the problem with Bill Jennings, the illegal procedure against Oklahoma State. So that's what happened there. Oklahoma State center may have moved the football an extra turn, and uh, one of the OU linemen uh, picked it up, jumped in there, and it's going to cost the Cowboys five and lose it back to the 35-yard line. Fourth penalty for Oklahoma State today, 40 yards. Oklahoma's been penalized only three times for 25 yards. And, you know, Jim, that's another good point. You talk about the fierce rivalry. There is a great rivalry between these two schools. Perhaps no love lost, but the players know each other. Many of them played against each other in high school, and you look at statistics, it's been a very clean football game as it always is when these two great teams meet. 109 left to play. Parsley waits, and Oklahoma has 10 men ready to rush. Here come the Sooners, and Parsley gets it away. Beautiful high punt. Nixon has it at the 15. He's going to try to get out of bounds. And did he? I don't believe he did. Let's see. They mark it down at the 12-yard line. Nixon out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Darrell Goforth, 72, was downfield. The all-conference player to make the tackle. And there you see the time. 58 seconds left to play. With Oklahoma State leading Oklahoma, 31 to 24. The Sooners, though, have the football. 52-yard punt for Parsley. No return. Sooners have 58 seconds to go 88, 88 yards, Chris, so their backs are to the wall. Uh, that goes without saying right now. Dean Blevins is the quarterback. And back goes Dean to pass. Looks for the screen. Horace Ivory has it at the 15. Going to be trapped in Vazes and get some blockers. Versus his scale. Turns the corner at the 15, the 20, 25, and spun out of bounds which stops the clock with 43 seconds left to play. Defensively, it was Willie Lester, number 19, who threw him out of bounds. Horace Ivory, I'll tell you, excited the Sooner fans there, and here comes the replay. Okay, let's watch it again, Chris. Now, I thought Ivory had made a, a tactical mistake here when he cut back across the field. I, I was saying, you know, he needs to get out of bounds and stop the clock for the Sooners, but Ivory apparently knew exactly what he was doing. Number 32 there, uh, cutting across field, picking up some more yardage, and <laughs> finally getting out of bounds, but all the way across the field. 12-yard gain, 43 seconds left. Levin's back to pass again. Goes down the middle, intercepted. Willie Lester, number 19, picks off the ball, and that may about do it. But it should. There are no more timeouts for the Sooners. Only 36 seconds left to play. Willie Lester, 19, keeps the football, being congratulated here. And look at the Oklahoma State coaching staff. You don't think those guys are excited? Here it comes on replay. Willie Lester... Just right to him. There, there was not a sooner in sight, Chris. Right to, uh, right to the OSU defender. Well, that really sends the fans to the exit. Although I don't imagine any Oklahoma State fans are leaving here. They're going to stay around and enjoy this one. Why not? It's been nine years. They need to stay around and enjoy it. They deserve it. Whether be the quarterback, you'll see him just drop straight down. There he goes. 30 seconds. The clock is running. And we may get uh, well, one more play, probably, and that'll be about it. Oklahoma State has kept themselves in the Big 8 Conference race and has opened things up in the Big 8 race here. There's 12 seconds left, 10 seconds. Let's see if we're going to have another play. Cowboys don't think they need one. They're counting it down. Three. Listen to the crowd. Oklahoma State has beaten Oklahoma. And here comes head coach Barry Switzer across the field looking for Jim Stanley. Here's a couple of the OSU players still looking for Coach Stanley. Congratulates a couple of the coaches there. Yeah, Barry's uh, trying to find Jim. There he is. Congratulations. Pat on the back from these two great rivals. Jim Stanley had never beaten Oklahoma. Barry Switzer there. He's talking with... One of the other Sooner coaches, Wendell Harper, is uh, he congratulates him. And Jim Stanley has beaten Oklahoma. And what a great victory for Oklahoma State, no doubt about it. you got to feel good for Jim Stanley, too. That, he's a very nice man, a very low-key man. And he's not showing much emotion out there, but you better believe he's the happiest man in this stadium. Well, again, it was Oklahoma leading 21-13 to 13 at half. Then it was 24-13. to 13. Oklahoma leading in the third quarter. From that point on, it was uh, Oklahoma State as they shut out the Sooner defense from that point, and the Cowboy taking advantage of some poor errors in the kicking game for Oklahoma, some very short punts, 